What's up, everybody? HTG Brian here, and welcome back. It's Monday, which means it's Horizon Chase Turbo Day, and hopefully, time to platinum. That's right, if you guys remember, we left off last week with a large chunk of the Endurance 109 races. Uh, we did 30 of them to give us... We basically did the math and tried to figure out how many races we had done on Monday last week versus how many were expected. And 109 seemed like a lot. And at the time of the math doing, we realized we were somewhere in the 45 or 50 range. So we thought we'd do another 30 races to kind of even the playing field and get a really good idea of how long it would take. We're guessing about three and a half hours to finish it. But uh, that being said, I want to welcome all of you who have been hanging out. I still haven't got confirmation yet. At least I haven't looked to be honest, to see how everything is, make sure that you guys can hear me correctly, fine, see me, everything's good to go. Mondays, you know, are always a little rough, but uh, we'll get through it together. We got a lot of you hanging out in the chat, and I appreciate that. It looks like Paige was number one today, and uh, followed by, let's see here, I had to refresh my page, so wah, wah. I know that Darkseid and Kirsten were both here super early as well. Uh, we did see, uh, let's see here, Buddy, Matt, Reese, uh, Timothy, uh, Loki made an appearance for a second, said he had to bounce out. I, I, I apologize, I'm going to say this wrong. Is it uh, Andres? Andresage? I, I'm sorry, like, I'm. Uh, let's see here. Gray was here for a hot second, had to bounce out, I think. Demon, what's up? You're back, dude. Sono is here as well. Squirrel Boy, what's good? Rob and Patricia are also here. What is up? Everybody have a good weekend? Thank you for confirming that, Timothy. I appreciate that. Um, I didn't do a ton. Uh, if you guys kind of checked in, I had the game break on Saturday. Uh, we also had a garage sale at my house for Friday and Saturday. My, uh, ma my mother-in-law and my wife pretty much did like 99% of that. Um, I mean, I... I poked out there a couple of times and uh, I, I didn't make any sales or do anything so I won't take any credit for that but uh, then yesterday we had some things we had to take care of and once we got done with that we actually bailed up to Portland and which is about an hour drive for us and we went to the Portland Saturday Market uh, which is just basically a really large outdoor kind of craft and food and fun you know, place you can go. They had live music. They actually had um, some sort of a puppet show going on, and they had a couple of people dressed up as like Disney characters. So like uh, one of the Frozen, I, I don't know which one it was. Uh, they also had Moana and a couple of other people. So it was really cool. Uh, I didn't take really many photos as it was. I don't know. I wasn't really participating in it. We were just kind of breezing through. And uh, really, we went there because I've been going to the Saturday Market for probably I don't know. I'm 41 years old. I bet you I've been going since I was 10 maybe even younger than that. Uh, my mom used to take me all the time. So I'd spend a lot of time with my mom on the weekends and that was one of the things that we liked to do. And they had this place there that had these burritos. And when I was young, I wanted like deep fried food. I wanted like chicken or, you know, burgers or something, greasy pizza. And my mom was not into that kind of stuff. My mom's very natural, very, uh, she, she herself is, is a vegetarian. Um, so she doesn't do a lot of meat and things like that. So uh, I was lucky to get chicken or fish and I didn't like fish I grew up my dad and I fished a lot and that's all we ate and I didn't so so chicken was the go-to and they had this burrito stand which at the time I didn't really like this burrito stand but that's where we ate every time I gotta be honest with you as an adult every year we go at least two or three times during the summer to eat there and we went there for the second time this summer they retired they are no longer there after 38 years of serving these burritos they are no longer there. So as a child, I hated it. As an adult, I yearned for it. We drove all the way up there yesterday to eat there, and it was gone. We went straight to where the booth, and, and I went, no. And I ran all the way back over and went to the information booth, and I said, hey, uh, there used to be like an all-natural, organic brew. And then he went, oh, yeah. And I, I can't remember their names, but he said it, and he goes, yeah, they retired. And it goes, in September. And I go, dude, today's September 1st. He goes, yeah, they were actually here yesterday. Oh, I missed them by one day. Uh, so they recommended another burrito place. I actually went and ate there. It was delicious. Not the same. It was very different. Uh, more of kind of an authentic burrito versus like an organic or organic organic. I told you the Brianisms were going to be fierce today. Um, 
But yeah, essentially it was not the same, but it was delicious. Uh, that we then went over to Voodoo Donuts. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Voodoo. We were talking about this in the chat a little bit. They're kind of known for their specialty donuts. Now, Voodoo Donuts is the name. They make this Voodoo Donut. It's a Voodoo doll. It's got a pretzel. It's absolutely delicious. It's chocolate with like a cherry or strawberry filling inside of it. It's awesome. Uh, so I will be munching on that throughout the stream today. So I apologize for any snackings, but... I rewarded myself. Today is the last day of summer as we know it here in Oregon. School goes back tomorrow, so Reese will be starting high school tomorrow. My wife will be back teaching high school tomorrow. I go back to the normal stuff. Gary and I will be taking on some more of the, uh, the Wolfenstein Youngblood with the twins. Twins! And hopefully we'll uh, get the, the story finished and maybe get the rest of the collectibles lined up. And who knows what else. We'll find out what we need to do to platinum that. And... I know that not a lot of you have been watching that the last week or so, and I don't know if it was just like Tuesday's a bad day for you guys to watch, or if you guys are just not into that game. Gary and I are having a blast playing it, and you know, although we are enjoying it, if you are not, we need to know, so let us know. And I am working on an infographic that'll have all the stream times and days and what we're playing on each day for each week, and I'm going to try to put one of those out every week on Sunday or Monday morning. I got the graphic probably 50 to 60% done. I hope to have it done today and online for you guys. Obviously, today has already happened by then, but you get the point, and hopefully you'll be able to see the schedule for the rest of the week. And then, yes, yeah, we'll talk about what next week offers and so on and so forth. All right, a few more of you have funneled in. Let's see here. Matt says, what's up? How are you doing? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Saj, what's up? Michael is also here. Hey, dude. Austin, you made it back? I thought it was Raspberry Jam and Hybrid. It might be, Austin. It might be. I, I To be honest with you, I haven't actually eaten mine yet. As you can see, it's still in one piece. Um, I, <laughs> Tony Reese was asking me, hey, uh, can I have one of those? And I said, I ate the arms off another one that you can have. And he was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I just had to test it and try it out. So, But I wanted to have a full one for you guys on stream to see too because it's kind of a novelty donut. Now, the one downside to that, 18 donuts cost me, with, with, with a $2 tip, cost me $52. $52 for 18 donuts. Think about that. I about fell over when the white... I was like... You you didn't tell him no? Because on the board it says like $18 for your, your choose of donuts, right? Or you can get like a $16 one where they choose the donuts. And you don't know what you're going to get, but we wanted very specific. They have like a grape one. They have a Homer one that looks just like the Simpsons donuts. Um, they have all sorts of Butterfinger ones. I mean, they've got a bunch. You guys are welcome to check out VoodooDonuts.com or whatever it is. Uh, but just keep in mind that there are some adult-themed donuts there. Now, I know that's going to probably encourage some of you younger people to go look at it. But I'm just warning you right now, uh, there are some adult-themed donuts there. So beware. Uh, all right. Horizon Chase Turbo Billy, what is up? Did you have a Voodoo Donut, though? probably you probably had something delicious like a Krispy Kreme and I'm still jealous that Baskin Robbins is like literally you could throw a rock from your house to bask like that just anyways uh let's see here $52 for some bread and filling yikes yeah no it was uh it's good but and, and last night I actually tried to eat one of them for a dessert I don't remember what it was called it's it's uh something mafia or something the, the it, it's like peanut butter chocolate chips um what else is on it? A bunch of stuff is drizzled all over. It's essentially a Snickers bar without the nougat, but they put all of that on a cinnamon roll. And the cinnamon, or no, it's an apple fritter or something. I don't know what, it's cinnamon, uh, it's so good, and I couldn't finish it. I actually have some of it left. You can actually see it right here. Like, it is bomb diggy. That was like a $4 donut, though. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> all right, uh, I've got a new message coming in. Who's trying to communicate here? Um, oh, yeah. Check this out, Gary, Nick. You want to see something funny? So somebody who I have yet to play... Well, I, I shouldn't say. I, have, I haven't played a game with this guy in a long time, right? Gary and I ran into this guy playing randomly on Apex Legends. And I haven't played with him in probably a month. And check this out. He sends me a message yesterday. And he says, hey, found your gear. And I was like, what? What is he talking about? But in the game... There are these dragons that fly around and they carry loot boxes of dead players. Now, usually these loot boxes are somehow related to 
a friend on your friends list or somebody in the game's friend. So we haven't really tracked it down and figured it out yet, but it's funny because here he is playing the game and he's literally looting my items, but I wasn't even in that game with him. Or I guess maybe I was and he... That would have been even more random if he didn't shoot a flyer down, if that was actually me in that game. And we that would be crazy, crazy, crazy. But uh, anyways, let's see here. Uh, Dark says, I raised the shark. Oh, oh wow, and added Shmemmy. Oh, my God, Reese. Wait till Reese sees that. That is awesome. So I don't know if you were actually going for Emmett, which was our all-black kitty with gold eyes that we had that actually passed away. It was Reese's cat. Or if you were trying to do Cutie, who is still with us and very active and loud and usually likes to steal the show from me when she comes up here. But either way, awesome job. That's cool. For those of you who didn't see this on the game break, uh, Dark created this in Soul Calibur in the character creator. Uh, he was asking for suggestions of characters to make. I suggested he do me. And look at that. That's awesome. Uh, oh, yeah. I love having... Yeah, the Memphis Mafia. That's the one, Austin. You got it. Uh, I love having Baskin Robbins right next to my house. I had a donut from this place called Dough Hook Donuts. Is that is that out, out in Kaiser? I'll have to check that out. Is it good? Or like Roth's Donuts, dude. Roth's Donuts are delicious. And they're just right here. So we usually go there. But it's cutie. All right. Right on. Thank you, Dark. All right. So I'm a little rusty. I haven't played this game since last Monday. I'm hoping that I can pull in some dubs. And that Gary won't laugh too hard at me in my ear. And that you guys won't make fun of me too much out there. Now, I do have a backup save. So if something happens, if I don't finish fifth or higher or whatever, I do have a spot saved right from right now. Whew. Man, get off me. Already off to some vigorous driving. All right. Got to get them tokens. Oh, thanks for the boost. Some of these, I just get lucky. Actually, I got to adjust the volume there. It's a little too loud and proud. Ooh, guess. Probably going to need some of that, huh? Ooh. Ah, oh, come on. Jack move. Dang. That was pretty messed up right there. Three laps, all right. I feel like I'm topping out to 136. This is my, my normal car, right, guys? Like, this is the cop car and not the first car because I didn't have a choice to pick anything. Got to stay on the inside to get that... Uh, uh, that gas. All right, that should keep me pretty well satisfied. Uh, the place is in Salem by where Game Crazy used to be. Ooh. There's a couple of Game Crazy still around. But Game Stars went down, though. I noticed that. I was thinking about trying to franchise one for a minute when they first popped up. Wife and I looked into all the financial stuff. I actually talked to a potential investor about it. Like, I mean, it was still just concept. Like, it wasn't almost happening. But it 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 definitely was something that was discussed. All right, so I need to get some more gas. I don't, I mean, I probably will make it, but I got two more. And there they go right there. Alright, there's one more boost coming up here. I should be able to get it coming up right in this. Yeah, see, I feel like I'm not fast. At... Oh, I missed it. Oh, okay. Second's okay. I can handle second. Um, if I remember correctly, I've got, I think I won like 20 something races in a row the other day, so I should be, have like a really strong lead. Yeah, I've got a really strong lead. But I still need to finish second or first in every race. Let's see here, real quick before I get going to the next one. You could do this, Brian. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't know. I didn't watch you last Monday on this game. Uh, it is the cop car. It just doesn't have the cop car skin out. I would agree. It just, it didn't feel like I was going very fast. Um, 
and, and I don't think it'll default my car, but see, I just said a quarter of a tank, nice. All right, so here we go, into the next one. Let's go, take a quick drink. It's like a nitro for me. Sing. Ugh. Ugh. All right, man, that gas is staggered oddly. Now, all of these, keep in mind, all of these tracks I have played before, either in the tournament or the world tour. Mostly the world tour, because the tournament pretty much showcased like the same group of uh, tracks, but just like made them longer and added to them. <laughs> oh, all right. So it's on the far right side. Oh, all right. So it's going to be pretty important that I get those coins up here. Gas is not going to be as big of a factor because it's a short track. Keep in mind, I have to finish fifth or higher to continue the race. This gets crazy right here. Coming over the top. You don't really know where you're going. Come on, here comes some tokens on the hard right. On the hard right. Maybe. Yeet! Oh, yeah! So basically, if you get that boost... Oh, come on. Come on, Fast and Furious. If you get the token boost, it's... It, and you don't get like smashed off into like last race I smashed into the gutter and, and messed up there um, I definitely feel like if you get all the tokens you can pretty much win every time especially if you get the extra boosts too the boostest with the moostest oh no uh, go 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 don't sit on any of them alright just finished endurance and you get the platinum so okay so when i finish the endurance i will uh unlock a final car now i have gone through and played a race and actually won a race with every single one of the cars that i've unlocked so far i think so in theory i should be able to just play one more race with the new car that i unlock and that should give me the final trophy so i have i have an endurance trophy that i need and i have a race with all cars and I'm pretty sure I've done all but one car. So, oh, missed that first token. That's going to be a tough one, too, coming through there. Man, what's up with all these dudes using their boost already? Ooh, I'll take it. Oh, come on. Oh, five lapper. Okay, okay. I can handle that. That's why they're using their boost and stuff, because they're... So again, this game has kind of like, a, and, and I don't know this for sure, like I've never seen any code or any writing on this. I just base this on my experience, and I've played this game quite a bit, as you guys know. Uh, finished the World Tour twice, and have uh, <laughs> done all the endurance and tournament stuff. So lots, lots, and lots, and lots of racing. It seems as though the closer you get to the end of the race, the less aggressive the, the racers on track are. So uh, right now, first has got a lot of juice and it's hard, and, and he can probably has unlimited nitros, even though we don't see him using the nitros. It, it probably is something like that. But as we get into you know fourth and fifth lap of the race, the characters start to lose their oomph, so to speak, and uh, it makes it a lot easier to pass and, and overtake. So save your boosts, save your overtake, you know moments for the the final laps, the last two laps. I always recommend the last two. Uh, so you can see I'm at second. I'm coming in hot. Just use my special boost, my bonus boost. He's trying to throw me into the gutter. But no thanks. Hard pass. Literally, hard pass. <laughs> Waiting for a boo. Waiting for a boo. No boo. It is Gary approved. see here. Hey, Brian, I thought a bonus stream on HTG could finish Watch Dogs. I was watching an old stream. I heard you only... Oh, I actually did that off stream. Uh, I, I, because it was a drinking game and it was like adult beverages, I, I didn't think that it was really something I should play on the main channel. 
Um, and HTG TV would have been a good place for it. Um, I, I just thought that, you know, with as little as I had left, um, it, it doesn't really fall into the easy Platinums category in the sense that the game was actually pretty long. And if you didn't play it right off the bat, uh, they made some changes to it that kind of, I heard, made some of the multiplayer trophies very difficult. Um, I got them really early. I got really lucky. Basically, I kind of got AFK. And, and I was able to hack and do everything I needed to to a guy who wasn't even playing. So, in essence, I got, like, super lucky. Guy was basically... I mean, I cheated, but I didn't mean to. It's just the outcome that happened. Like, I had no idea the guy wasn't there at first. I had no... You know, like, that's how it worked. And uh, and now I've heard it's a lot harder. Whoa, that was really close. Um, so, so, I opted not to play that on stream. But uh, definitely was fun. Um, you know, and I, and I never played two. Uh, that's something that I could eventually play at some point. You know, I try to play multiplayer games, like cooperative or, or multiplayer games that I can play with others, like Gary and Nick and Paz and, you know, Tyler and, and stuff like that, as much as possible because, um, you know, I, I find the, the entertainment value is just a little bit better. Uh, and I don't know, maybe you guys disagree. I know that, you know, some of you guys uh, are unfamiliar with some of the other people and you're only familiar with the people like me and, and maybe a little Jeremy and, and Doug, the people who've done the majority of the Happy Thumbs videos. Um, but but there are a lot of others, you know, that are definitely around. And uh, I feel that they bring a lot to the table and make me laugh, make fun of me, make me look like a noob. I return the favor every once in a while, too. It's fun. It's good times. Uh, so I try to play multiplayer games on that, which is why we're playing, like, that co-op game right now. The uh, Wolfenstein. It's a hoot. All right, we're making some decent ground. So we'll do the uh, every, uh, I don't want to say every five races. That seems too little. Uh, I'd say every 10 races I'll do a backup save. And I might have to go back and do 10 races over, but that's 20 minutes if I can race properly. God, I tried to split them, and that was not happening. Oop. Are we in bedrock? Or? No, those are cannons. I don't know why those look like giant rocks balancing on other rocks like bedrock. Wilma! I miss Flintstones. I wish they'd bring that back. Like, seriously, that was such a good show. It had some decent values in it. had some, some funny moments. And what would be really, really sweet is if they brought it back in Lego form, too. Like, or if they at least had, like, an episode or two. You know, like, The Simpsons has an episode of Lego, and that'd be awesome. You guys have seen that, right? That's sweet. Oh, come on, I looked the wrong way. All right, I got one more. Use it wisely, Brian. Use it wisely. All right, big turn. Big turn. Go. Ah. Oh well. Second place. Second it is. Oh! Can you guys hear that? Ooh. Hey, the goal is to platinum. That's what we're doing. We're doing easy platinums. We're doing all sorts of stuff. Trying to get... I'm trying to get to that 100 platinum mark. Hi, cutie. Oh, that was weird. He, like, let off the gas or something. All right, I need to get a couple of firsties. I know it probably won't matter in the end, but it might. It helps, it helps. Yeah. Paz, what's up, dude? You survived, Dorian. I, I didn't actually watch the full path, but I, I heard that it totally took a turn and it went up north to like Georgia and then it was going to go even further to Carolinas. Uh, I'm wondering how it ended up happening because obviously I've got Doug lives in Georgia and Patrick, uh, Commander Claymore Fury, the guy who used to help me run a, a lot of the tournaments and stuff over at Urgent Fury, um, he is a, uh, he's in, uh, 
so Southern Pines, North Carolina, which is also where Soft Studios is located. I don't think he's actually in So Pines anymore. I think he's somewhere else. All right, so I better get it together here. Still not in the the advanced zone here. There we go. So I got four of these bad boys. All right, let's let them. Let's let another one rip, huh? Oh, oh! Touch the grass. Boy, those guys are way up there. You guys see that? Like, seriously, I don't think I'm going to catch these guys. And I had a little bit of a rough start playing bumper bumper cars for a minute there, but... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, Paul Walker, I got you in my sights. There's another movie that uh, <laughs> exists, too, that has that, that car in it. I, I can't even say the name of it because it's a little risky, but uh, it's actually a funny, funny, funny movie. And we've seen it a bunch. And and the other day, um, we decided to share it with Reese. And it's one of those movies that's like it's an it's an adult movie. And and um, I happen to have a friend that, that had it. And so I, I asked if I could borrow it and, and they had the unrated version. Which I thought, you know, I've seen a gajillion movies. I've seen a gajillion unrated versions. No big deal, right? It was a big deal. Big difference. Big, big, big difference. And they started off the beginning by saying, you know, most movies that have unrated versions, they don't really offer any extra content. They just might have a deleted scene or two. We're going to make sure that you get lots of unrated extras. And then they went into some very specific things and displayed those specific things on the screen, and it was very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And uh, having Reese there... And then having my mother-in-law with an earshot too, and she goes, "Who chose that movie?" And, and before the movie started, I was telling the wife, I was like, "I don't know if I don't know if it, we're ready for this. Like, I don't know if we want to do this." And I had no idea that the unrated version was like it was. I was just talking about the movie we had seen, the regular movie, and, and we had been on cable a hundred thousand times, and we'd watched it a bunch. So you know, seeing this beginning. We, we, we couldn't even get through the beginning. Couldn't even get through the first three minutes without turning it off because it was so bad. Bad. That's all I'm going to say. I can't go into any more detail. But but it was bad. And and um, the whole movie was just all this extra stuff that they added in. And it was definitely an unrated... <laughs> definitely unrated. Um... But anyways, that, that, that car is totally in that movie. And it's funny because you don't know who drives it until the very end. They keep like super dark tinted windows up the whole time. And then at the very end, they reveal who the driver is. And it's not who you're at all expecting it to be. And it's hilarious. Uh, let's see here. we got some chat going on here, but i got to finish this up. got a full lapper duty. Okay, guys, stay on the right to get... Yeah, what's up? Sorry about that, Mustang. Must. Never mind. I better. I better stop myself before. I... All right, here we go. See you, Camaro. Okay. No hurricane to Pasolini yet. All right. Well, that's good and bad, I suppose. Oh, come on. That wasn't supposed to happen. Whew. That's my first place. All right, what's going on in the chat? Last minute, pull in first. Yep. Does Cutie get paid for appearance or only for speaking parts? Yeah, it, it's by meow. It's a meow by meow basis. Uh, let's see here. 15 per appearance. Mandy Child. Hurricane Dorian. It was heading to Florida. Bahamas are flooded. Ooh. Yeah, we were talking. So uh, Paz, HTG Paz, he lives in uh, Okeechobee, Florida. Uh, you guys may or may not have heard of that area before, but they actually live right around in a lake, Lake Okeechobee. 
and he was telling me that they're like, I don't remember what, they're only like a hundred feet above sea level or 200 feet above sea level or something like, it's something very minimal, very minimal. Uh, maybe, maybe it's even like 10 or 20, something like really not very high. Uh, and they was telling me they're expecting to get like 27 inches of rain. And he was saying that if that happens, uh, you know, basically the whole town would be underwater. That's terrible. That's terrible. Um, and that's just one area or one town, right? I mean, there's so many other uh, areas and, and countries and people that will be affected by this. It's just terrible. I mean, natural disaster is indeed natural disaster. Oh, my. I was not trying to do that yet. A little early on that guy. Although, we got through the first lap. We're in fourth. This is one of the harder tracks, you guys, for me because of this section right here. Because I can't see, it's super dark, and I have these lights, and I can see myself better than I can actually see the screen. It's it's tough, like, I'm sure the track is tough on its own, very doable, but but that section particularly, with, with me and the lights, with the green screen, it's bad. Uh, here in a week or so, I do plan on uh, not using the green screen for a few streams. Um, and only because uh, we're going to have our doggo. And, uh, you know, you guys will probably want to see him. He'll probably be moving around. We've got a giant uh, crate or cage right behind us. That basically where my Lillard jersey used to be up against the wall behind me. Uh, there was, like, an open space there. Let's see if I can make this three times in a row. Yeet. There was an open space, and that was basically there for uh, future dog crate as we... Uh, have now put one there. It's pretty large. I won't lie. Um, and hopefully it'll be large enough for our doggo who will be here. And nobody guessed his name. I thought for sure his name was going to get guessed on the game break. And, and uh, you know, in some conversations before I said that I would tell everybody what it was, if they guessed, um, I had a couple of conversations with a few people. And at some point they guessed. And I, I dropped that information back on them the other day. And it's here. My sister's in Jacksonville. You know, we've been watching uh, The Good Place. And uh, I don't know if you guys have watched that with Kristen Bell and... and um, uh, I want to call him Sam Malone, but it's Ted Danson. Um, it, uh, one of the main characters, Jason, is actually from Jacksonville. And he's a big Jacksonville Jaguars fan. And, and, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff regarding that. It's pretty funny. Um, let's see here. We can't gain any handling, so we'll just go with top speed. My guess, Agent Zero or Roy. What's up there, Robert? All right, we got, uh, we'll got. we do this race, and then we'll go ahead and do a backup. And then we'll uh, keep on keeping on. So 10 races in, what, 20 minutes? That's about, about right. So I haven't checked in a while. Um, I wonder if there's been any... Uh, so, so like, okay. I, I, I do want to make mention of something that, that I did find out this morning. Um, so, there is the... Uh, gosh, what is it? Tokyo... I, I'm trying to think of what the name of it is. Is it this Tokyo Game Show? No, Tokyo Games Con. There, there's a show coming up real soon. It's in Tokyo. Um, and, and, I, and I saw that the... Uh, what is it? Uh... Game boxing uh, game unboxing reviews posted a video this morning saying that there is likely going to be an updated trailer for Lego Star Wars the Skywalker saga coming up at that con which is uh, I think it's like in like September 15th or something like that so um, I'm sorry for not having all of the details but uh, definitely go check out game unboxing reviews on YouTube and uh, you know great Lego channel great information um, I have no personal connections to them I just like what they do over there uh, guy always seems to have good information and I do believe he's a little closer to the pulse than I am as far as like I think he's been to the Lego development studios before and things like that I, I could be wrong but yeah that guy was being a pain in the old tuchus huh all right, so I still got a, I got a freebie coming up here too. If I can stay in the middle right and not smash into stuff, I should be able to get a bonus boost. 
Yeah. Uh. Looked like there was another nitro out there too. But I may have missed. So yeah, we will be playing. Uh, we will be playing Toy Story again on Wednesday. But I'll have you know right now, uh, I'm gonna try to monitor the game audio uh, quite a bit. Um, and I don't know how it'll work out. Uh, it, it might work out that uh, <laughs> that I turn it on and off and on and off and on and off. Let me try turning it off and on again. Uh, I'll do one more race because this is actually the 40th. Um, because I don't want to run into copyright again. As you guys know, we played it last week. We did a, almost a five-hour stream. And for two minutes in the video, uh, copyrighted song played. And the entire video is now copyrighted property that belongs to whatever entertainment group owns the rights to that song. I don't remember what it is. It's like Randy Newman's song, but I don't know who who owns the rights to it. It's like, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, that being said, uh, I don't want to like play the game with no sounds. I thought it'd be funny to be like, uh, you know, me doing jump, oh, kick, pow, like making my own sounds for it. Uh, but that could get annoying real fast, especially if I, I make a sound or a noise that you guys don't prefer. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to set up a stream deck button that will allow me to turn on and off. So as soon as I hear it, I can just hit the button. And then I can test the waters, like, you know, once we get through the loading. Because essentially, I think the only time we're really going to hear that music is on, like, the actual menu and loading screens. Um, I think I can bypass them and all. But there's going to be some cutscenes and stuff. Oh, ouchers. Uh, that will definitely have that kind of uh, audio in it. Or is likely to have it in it. I missed that first thing. Okay, so it's on the far right. Oh, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. All right, so we're final. No, we're not final lap. We still got two more laps, Brass. Settle down. Using all my boosteds. I guess it's good I haven't gotten that full boost yet. Or that freebie. I think it's right. Oof. <laughs> I like the tumble. Tumbleaya! The tumbler. Yeah. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Ooh, buddy. Oh, I looked at the stupid compass. I am so far behind first place. Like, so far behind. I know I got a whole nother lap to go and the whole thing. But I'm only in third place. I don't want to... I got to finish second at least. I'll wait till I cross the line so I'm in the final lap. They'll be less aggressive. Here's a lapper. You can tell because how slow he's going. Still don't even see him up ahead of me. There it is. All right. Did I cut that part? So Loki, um, I, I think what you're referring to is like remove the audio from that section. So I think you've heard me complain a little bit in the last couple of weeks that, and maybe you haven't. Gray, what's up, dude? Thanks for the super chat. Um, they actually changed the way that. Um, the, the way that the whole behind the scenes admin panel looks and functions and I am not I'm not pleased with it at all um, it, it's seemingly gone back in time and what I mean by that is and I'm saving my my data right now for those of you who are confused on what I'm doing uh, I want to make a backup because if you finish fifth or below you you're done and I definitely don't want to uh, miss out on because I have a hundred races I have to complete right and so uh, boy no one said anything about echo that's good uh, anyways uh, yeah they don't seem to have that added in the new stuff yet so I can't go it's weird I get the email that says I have copyrighted material it tells me how long it is but I don't seem to have the ability to remove it anymore with the new interface that they're using um, 
we've got a few new features, some new analytics and things like that, but everything is super confusing right now. It, the way everything's displayed, the way you access things, um, you know, even things like the tags, the tags have changed now. If you want to uh, copy the tags, you have to like click a button and it, it's just, it's very different. Um, in the long run, I'm sure it's lightweight, it's better for us, and, and once I figure it out, I think it'll be cool. Then that stuff may exist. There may be, um, see, and you understand, but, but, but it's my understanding that as of like last week or tomorrow or something like right now, they're removing Classic. It's gone. I've gotten multiple notica notifications saying Classic is going to be removed any day now. So I have been forcing myself to use the new one so that when it is gone and I don't have the old stuff to fall back on, that I at least have a kind of a simple understanding of where most things are. Um, let's see here. The beta didn't update, didn't release where I live. I don't, what do you mean for YouTube? It would be on the back end and it, it would be something that you may or may not even see if you're not uploading videos. If you're, if you're actually uploading content, then you've probably noticed that some changes speaking of change settle in here all right so we've got 40 of the 109 races done now let's see here got a couple of text messages make sure it's not the wife or anything of importance nope more sales stuff every day at this time i get multiple sales things all right so you can see i got lots to go Purple sky. Purple skies in your fire. Let's see here. Stuart, I've missed one of your... <laughs> it's okay, Stuart. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, Brody. <laughs> so I'm excited the uh, NBA season is ramping up. We're about ready to start seeing some preseason games, including the kickoff of the Blazers' 50th anniversary of existence. Uh, one of the cool things about that is when the Blazers first started playing, there was a big coliseum made called the Veterans Memorial Coliseum, and that's where all of the Blazer games were played. That's where the state championship or the the NBA championship was won, and all of that. It's where a lot of the state championship uh, basketball games and even volleyball and stuff were played for many, 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 many years. Um, you know, I went to all sorts of like Sunday, Sunday, Sunday events where they had like you know WWF or some sort of like monster trucks or uh, tons of stuff at the, at the VMC and the, about, I don't know, 17, 20 years ago, they built a new area called the Moda center. Well, it was called the Rose garden for a long time, but then they sold it to get some extra money for sponsorship. But they are playing the first preseason game in the veterans Memorial Coliseum. So, that's like a blast from the past. It's actually going to be uh, aired on TV, too. They don't usually make the preseason games viewable on national television. This is going to be on ESPN, which is crazy to think about. Uh, they're playing the Denver Nuggets, who was, who was a good team, and they're one of the teams that we played in the second round of the playoffs last year. So, uh, you know, kind of a rematch. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, we've still got one of our main guys hurt. We've got a whole new slew of new players. Uh, but it'll be fun. And, and um, that starts next month. Let's see here. I'm getting pretty close to the stinking finish line here. I better make my move. Um, but we do have a few preseason games for other teams this month. Uh, like I think the Heat and a couple of other player, or other teams have games like on the 28th or something. So it's coming up soon. This is like my favorite time of the year. I really love basketball. I... I you know, my grandfather was a basketball coach for a high school for 27 years. Um, my uncle was a, a college basketball coach for like 16, and I went to a lot of those games because I was living with my grandparents when my grandpa was coaching and my uncle was coaching, and I got to go to lots of those games that he coached and my uncle coached and all that. So, uh, you know, and I've always just been really involved with the Blazers. My, my dad is a golf professional in Portland. And, and has, you know, definitely had some moments and uh, used to run or managed a golf course that was frequented by, like, Terry Porter and Clyde Drexler and, like, the old, like, 90s superstars. And they had uh, golf camps where Terry Porter was there. And I actually got to go play golf with Terry Porter on a couple of occasions. And, uh, you know, growing up in Staten, 
Um, there was a, a big Chevrolet dealership owned by John Lucas, um, who was actually the older brother of Maurice Lucas, who was a major Blazer player. Um, so I, I got pictures of me hanging out with him and sitting on his lap when I'm like, two. I mean, so I've just, I've been, the Blazers are in my blood. And I know some people are like, man, why you like that team? They're busted. Or why you like basketball? It's boring. But like, that's one of the only things I've really known. It's been one of the most steady, constant things in my life in my 41 years, you know? And so, um, I just love it. I love playing it. I love watching it. Um, and I can't say that about a lot of other sports. Like I like playing baseball, cannot watch it. I like playing golf, cannot watch it. Tennis, awesome, can't watch it. Uh, you know, racing, love racing, can't watch it. Uh, well, I guess that's not true. Some racing. NASCAR, nope, can't watch it. If it's going around in a circle, done. Next channel, please. Uh, so, you know, I definitely have have uh, my attachments to the basketballs, and uh, I really love this time of year. My wife hates it because we have sports channels and a package that allows me to watch most of the games um and so uh i definitely watch you know my team plays 82 games and i watch every one of those i watch all the preseason games even the ones that aren't broadcast we go to some of them um you know and i also watch just hundreds of other games i mean i'll usually watch at least a game and a half of basketball every single day for the whole season so you know nine months of the year i'm watching a basketball game or or two or three or four um you know and i love it i just can't get enough of it and i drive everybody nuts with it my wife hates hearing stats hates hearing about draft stuff my son absolutely just loathes the blazers because i talk about them so much and i think if i just didn't say anything he'd probably watch the games and be excited to go and he likes the team but he doesn't get into watching them and, and rooting for them quite like i do and at his age, I was kind of off and on. You know, back in the day, I lived in Portland, and you could not get the games that were home games because you had to get uh, you had to get pay per view. And so my neighbors and 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 my dad would always work it out so that like one season we would get it, the next season they would get it, and we would have like blazer parties, and like we would literally have you know his family over to my house every game, every home game for the season. And the next season would be over at his house, and like we had all of our other friends come over, and there was like it was like legit awesome parties. Like now you now we don't we don't ever do that. Like I keep saying I want to do that, but I don't really have enough friends that love the Blazers quite like I do, but. My wife has a lot of work friends that are very into them, so she she talked about maybe trying to organize something like that. Cause I don't care who it is, if we're if we're all on the same team rooting for the Blazers, I'll get along with anybody. Now, if Laker fan shows up though, woo wee! No, I'm just kidding. I like some good rivalries. I like good banter, as long as it doesn't get you know under skin and hurt feelings. Then then that's when it. All right. These are some pretty squirrely turns here. Oh, I got a little too inside. Just a bit inside. Well, I don't like this sun going down stuff. Ooh, freebie. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Keep it together. Oh, a boost on the right side, all right. Gotta remember that right before the old airport. Gulp. So yeah, speaking of big gulps, I just realized something. So I live in Oregon, as you guys know, and for a long time there was a big rivalry between Plaid Pantry and 7-Eleven. And then came Circle K. And so we had like these three different major brands of, you know, potential like little mini marts, right? And and now we have another one too, a smart. That's a whole new one, but um, it's weird because Plaid Pantry sort of won, and then they got some deal with Amazon and stuff, and then all of a sudden Plaid Pantry started like going under. Like a lot of them were around town, were gone, and we'd already lost all of our Seven Elevens. They had already disappeared a long time ago. So Circle K was kind of like the reigning champion. But get this, like like a month ago, two no, it was probably like six eight months ago one of those giant like two billion dollar powerball tickets or whatever um one of those big two billion powerball tickets sold at a circle k like not even half a mile from my house 
and they get a percentage for for being the store that sells the winning ticket. I don't know what it is, but they all retired. And so now 7-Eleven's back. 7-Eleven has officially bought out all of the Circle Ks because the Circle Ks were owned by a family who got a chunk of that change, and they all said, we're done. We we, we got our na- uh, nest egg. We are out of here. And uh, so that's interesting. So Reese, the other day, he goes to what used to be Circle K and has been Circle K for the last 20-something years. Uh, he goes there, and he comes back with a big gulp. And I go, "What? where's 7-Eleven at? Where, where's the near 7-Eleven? And he goes, dude, it's right there. And I go, right where? No, there's not 7-Eleven. It's been 20 years since there's been a 7-Eleven in town. He's like, no, it's right there. And I went to ask the wife. I said, what? what's going on? She goes, oh, yeah, when they won that lotto, they all retired, and 7-Eleven came in and bought them. I said, what? So now I'm stoked. I got, I got Slurpees again. I didn't have Slurpees for a long time. I had to go either up to Portland or way out to Kaiser. And Kaiser's only like a 15-minute drive, but still. Now I got one literally like 30 seconds from my house. And I'm not really big on Slurpees or any of that stuff, but the kids like them in the summertime, so I guess they're really not kids anymore. The dudes, as him and his friends are all becoming like big humans, taking up lots of space and other stuff too. All right, get off me. Still got two more to go. Whoop. Yeet. <laughs> Dang, I have five boosts. Are you kidding me right now? You. Oh, sorry, Paul. I just call that dude Paul Walker because they call that car the Walker X or something like that. All right, so notice how I'm like just barely starting to creep on him as we get a little further into the final lap. Now I've got kind of gooder -er speed than him. That's right. Brainisms are on full display today. I think there was one more boost out here, but that might not be the case. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. All right, let's go. Let's go. What's going on over here? Uh, let's see here. Minute to Island Com. It's secondary school. I used to play. I missed that game break chat. Oh, no. Because uh, before I made it to Ireland. Uh, okay. Oof. For you, Gray. Oof. Another way to say sorry. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, let's see here. 6.73 will be 7. Not for some time. Checked the updates yesterday. Checked it. Still nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's hear Paz. What movie? I'll tell you later, Paz. I, n I don't even know if you're still listening, but I'll definitely tell you later. It's about a drive. I'll just say that. It's about a drive. It's not road trip, but it's it's very similar in the storytelling. But the name is it's just one of those names that I should avoid on on this particular stream. If we were on HTG TV, I wouldn't worry about it, but. And it's not bad, but it's just definitely something we can avoid talking about. And I don't want, really want recommending the movie to the younger people that may or may not watch this. So, Where'd you find out about that movie? Oh, HTG Brian told me about it. He said get the unrated version. <laughs> That's the last thing I need. Uh, talk about big oof. No thanks. So we got three laps. Already got one done. Ugh, all right, that's not good. Uh, I'm wasting a nitro, wasting a nitro. Got to get past. Got to get past. Got to go fast. Got to get past. Got to go past. Faster, faster, fast, fast, fast. I want to know, too, why these cars don't ever seem to get gas and they never run out of gas. Have you noticed that? And Gary, you haven't returned to playing this at all, have you? No. I didn't know if I had some times to work up against or not. So I'm on the third lap, and I'm in third place. And there they go, right there. Coming in hot. And 
I got it. Right. That is correct, Timothy. Pokemon Tybor, what's up? Um. All right, Paz, if you're if you're by your phone and you're still listening, I just sent you a text. Whoa, low clearance, broskies. Low clearance. Oh, my. Talk about threading the needle. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I was just about to ask for a chat clap. Can I get a chat or a clap in the chat? And then, whoa, right into the wall. Oh, that was not good. All right. So I made some good ground in the first couple of turns, but... I miss those tokens. Eee. Oh my! This has got some squirrely oh, turns on it. Yeah. Oh snap! I gosh! I gotta fix my setup. Streamlabs OBS displays differently than OBS does, so I cannot see the screen to see who the names are when they come in. I can only see them after on the delayed side, and then I have to be on it there too. Uh, otherwise I'll miss it, which I'm sure I have. But uh, welcome to the channel, hopefully you enjoy our content. I'll get better, I gotta find a fix for that. Okay, so I just gotta hit the middle there, and I got some on the right. I'm in fourth, I'm not doing too bad. One more full lap, and this looks like, oh, that's that corner. That's that corner, though. All right. I only have to hit it one more time. That's the good news. Bad news is I have to hit it one more time. <laughs> Just got to make sure I save a, a nitro. Okay, now I just got to get the middle ones, and I should be good. Might as well hit here. And then here we go. Should get another one right here. Yep. Yep. Okay, here's that corner. Here's that corner. Yes! Got it. Got it. Uh, hey, Brian, have you seen the movie uh, Call Scary Stories to Tell? Ooh, no, but I do want to. However, I did see... Uh, kind of a, a, a really interesting dark movie recently that I forgot to mention. Um, I think we're alone now. It's got Peter Dinklage and Dakota Fanning in it. And it's like a post-apocalyptic, like, it starts off like Peter Dinklage is all by himself. And then things happen. And um, they don't really tell you what happened, where everybody went, or why. Um... And it's 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 kind of a slow movie, um, and, and the end does have a little bit of a, what I would call I, I don't want to say a twist. Like my wife was like, "Oh, the M Night Shyamalan does." I wouldn't say that, um, but I would say that there is definitely kind of a, a an ending or a, a storyline that you're kind of like, "Huh?" Um, and, and in the end, I would you know out of ten, I would probably give it like a six and a half. Um, definitely worth watching if, if you get a chance to and you don't have to pay a ton of money or bend over backwards to see it or whatever but um, you know it, it, it was good it was good I like those apocalyptic quiet you know uh, you know zombie you know even movies I, I like all those oh man I might have messed that up but uh, and there's another one that I'm looking forward to seeing too is uh, the dead don't stay or what is it? The dead don't stay. The dead don't die. The dead don't stay dead. So it's got Bill Murray in it. That's another kind of apocalyptic one that's coming out soon, or maybe already out. I just recently was introduced to the whole concept of it. Um, there's an. I want to see. Have anybody seen that Dark Phoenix movie too? The new X Men movie. I know that's like due for release or is out or something real soon too. 
As you can tell, I'm real current on my movies and my facts. <laughs> Not really. Ah. Ah, oh, sorry, Paul. Backslash, we rule. All right, there's Foist. He's boosting too, and I'm catching him. That's weird. Yes, yes. Ooh. So that must be another nitro tank rather than a. Because I thought that was a token over there that I passed. All right. Forced is forced. I saw Dark Phoenix wasn't bad. All right, all right. Pokemon Tybar says hi. Hello, Tybar. Uh, you really are behind. What's uh? What 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 what? It was all a dream. What are we talking about? I'm messing up. Still. G13, it's just totally other stuff. Ah, got it. Okay, you guys are still talking. It's Jean Grey, isn't it? Yes, it, it, it is. It's like the evolution. And I, I'm wondering the timeline. I don't understand the timeline. Maybe you guys can help me with this. So, like, Dark Phoenix, like, the synopsis of the story says that, like, she gets hit by some sort of power comment something, and it, like, gives her all her powers. Is that, like, when she's a little kid, and that's her original mutation, and she eventually evolves from, like, Jean Grey into the Dark Phoenix, which is Bad News Bears? Or is, is does she, like, start as Jean Grey from birth and then get hit and then gets overwhelmingly powerful on top of her already sweet powers? Like, I feel like it's probably the first option, but I, I don't... I don't really know. Ooh, I missed one. So I got one on the left and then hard right, but I couldn't get to him because the chumpers were driving in my pathway. All right, three lapper, about halfway through the first lap. Oh wait, is this? Yeah, this is the one. This is that one. Okay. So they threw me back-to-back -back crazy chicane levels. If you don't know what a chicane is, it's basically like the worst thing that can happen to a racetrack. <laughs> Not really. It's It makes it tough. It, the, the driver has to slow down because the, the turn is such... Uh, it's above... I don't remember what the qualifications for becoming a chicane, but I think it's over like 180 degrees or something like that. So it has to be a major turn. All right, so we got one coming up on the left and then a series on the right. Get over there. Yeet! I just gotta remember where this turn is. That's not it. It's after the long straight stretch and I think there's a thing of gas, right? That's not it, it's the next one. Yeah, it's the gas and then right here. Yeah, so I just gotta hit the brakes on that one. Wow! Getting a little slippery. Squirrel McDoog, as we call it around here. Yeet. All right, final lap, and I'm in fifth place. Got to get one more position at least to move on. I think fifth actually allows me to move on, but... Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, there's all of them. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, should have some gas and then a hard right. Oh, yeah, we got one more right turn. Then the gas. Whoa. Whoa. That was close. Woo-hoo. Uh oh Oh. Go, go, go. Go, 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 bro. Go, 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 bro. Go. Don't be wasting no more time. Whew. That was close. I didn't like that one at all. Uh, let's see here. I love the Ratchet Clank games. I got stuck on the part a few years ago. I never finished that one. Still bums me out when I think about it. You know, I actually never platinum that game either. I, I ventured out. I bought it. I was going to. And um, there was a few things that were just... I, I don't want to say they were above my pay grade, but I, I didn't really... I didn't really get into the whole... There was a couple of sections that were tough, and it required a lot of replay on my part. And it was kind of confusing, too. And so, with everything that I had going on at the time, I just bailed on it. 
All right, we got two more races, and then we'll do another save, and we'll be about halfway to the endurance finish. Uh, not quite halfway for today's races, but uh, halfway overall. Eesh. I know some of these races I end up finishing at like 155 or 147 or 209, so they're averaging right about two minutes per race. Boy, look at me just fight my way through this. This is craziness. I don't know how I got here. Boy. That's right, this is a short track. But it's squirrely too. And I don't have my car fully powered up, so my handling is good, but it's not great. It's not Tony the Tiger. There's really not a good place to boost on this level either. Maybe right here. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi. Hi. Oh, come on, Brian. Oh, no. That was my last one, too. I shouldn't have used it there. There's no freebie on this lap either, or on this track. It's good though, it's good. Speaking of it's good. It's good. Yeah, it was 134. Above 90 degrees, huh? <laughs> oh it's so weird to me when they like I don't know if it's like the game just hiccuping or if they're like letting off they're like oh he's right on my tail I'm gonna slam on the brakes I don't like the snow levels so I gotta pay attention here We actually saw a red convertible Testarossa yesterday on our way to ah, uh, on our way to Portland. It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, three nitros. Oh, I looked at the compass instead of, and I hit the juice. Okay. Two laps left. All right, good. The snow has subsided, at least for a second. Is that a horse out there? What, what is that out there in the snow? Er, 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 er. Oh, stupid me. Missing tokens. Coming up on left and right, if I remember correctly. Yep. Won't be able to get those now, because I split them again. Yeet. Ah, still got another lap. Won't waste a boost. It's like a horsey. <laughs> Thought I might be able to chug that far right one, but nope. Missed it. Missed it by that much. That one's a little longer, 224. save after this race. Oh, yes. Oh. 
It's like a NASCAR race. But hard turns, though. Oof. Zinga Over the hills and through the woods, grandmother's house we go. This is a relatively fun and easy track for me. It's very bright and the corners are pretty predictable. Yeah, let's see. I wonder if I can not turbo and beat him. Ah. Oh. Playing car ramrod's not gonna help. Alright, enough of this monkey business. Oh, come on! Snarf, snarf. Uh, let's see here. Thanks, Steven. Do you watch The Flash? I do not currently watch The Flash. I know that there are a couple of people that have watched some of it in the chat, though. Alright, so 52. Let's go ahead and drop out. And we'll go ahead and do this real quick. We're going to make another quick save to make sure that if I totally botch what I'm doing, that I have something to fall back on. At least we can be basically halfway done with the final endurance race. Apply to all. We will go ahead and overwrite that. So, you know, I've been thinking about going back and playing a little PS2, um, and I found this device that actually would allow me to plug in this adapter to the PS2, and it would actually transmit controller signal to my PS4 controller. So I could play the old school, like, SOCOM, or 25 to Life, or some of the old school PS2 games, uh, you know, maybe even get some of that diehard PS1 action going, and be able to use my current controller, which would be amazing those PS2 controllers are booty. I don't like them. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got an upgrade coming in about five races. Upgrade! If you guys haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. It'd be really nice of you. I'm just saying, it would be. Aww. Uh, the Emblem Wars is a game to play with uh, playable characters. I haven't checked that one out yet either. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Sometimes I get really lucky in this opening little sequence, and sometimes I just get bounced around like a ping pong ball. Alright. Nice one. All right, full laps. Oh, yeah. oh snap. Let's see who that was. Hey, oh, wow. Uh, Antornardo Weirdo? I don't know if I said that right, but uh, what up? <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, it was an interesting name for sure. All right, let's see if I can get these right in the middle here. Nope, missed. That's all right, though. We'll save it for next lap. Whew. Full tank. Oh, I missed it again like a maroon. All right, right after the gas. We'll get it on the final one, then. Yeet! All right, here comes the turn, and then turn, and then gas. And then final coin. 
Yeah, yeah. Here I come, boosting the nitros. 136. Yeah, I almost have a 100 point lead. That's pretty crazy. Think about that. 100 points? That's a lot. Boy, these donuts are taunting me, you guys. I need to get a couple more. Ah! Ah! I don't like these. I do not like the volcano and the snow ones. You know, I can handle some of the debris that they throw at us, but some of these ones are just the worst. Wow, that's a big, hard turn. Oh, that's right. This is the long one. This is that long one. I got to make sure I get fuel as I go through this. So I'm getting most of those tokens. I know I didn't get the far left side back there because I got the right ones, but I need some more fuel. the count is, but I think I need like three or four tanks per lap. Otherwise, I won't make it. So one one done. And we're just now moving into seventh. Yikes. Oh, I needed that fuel. You don't need to get the tokens, but it helps. It helps. I do believe there's more nitros up in the middle. Yep. And gas. In the middle. And then outside. Okay. Currently in thirds, better than I thought I'd be at this point. Oh, I needed that gas. Oh, oh, oh no. I just missed the gas. Oh, my goodness. Because I could not finish this, and, and that would be it. I'd have to load my save up again. All right, I got some gas coming up, but I'm likely going to be on fumes. Got a boost in the far right lane, yep. Gas in the middle, all right. I should be good now. I should be good. Whew. I'm in first. Hit this corner hard. And then boost into the finish line. Wow, all right. Glad that's over. Welcome back, Loki. We have 55 more races to do. It seems like a lot, but we'll get through them pretty quick. Ah! Look at how aggressive some of these guys are. A bunch of buttles. Buttle. B U T T L E. Buttles. <laughs> Look at that, as soon as I got out of his way, he unleashed the fury. Hey. Oh, snap, what's up there, Cross? How's all Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch doing up there?
I know you're going to fire that right back at me, though. <laughs> Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. I haven't gotten any fuel this race either. That's, that's bad news. Like, I don't even think I picked up one jug. Oh, look at all the free tokens. I think there's gas right up here on the right. Yes. All right. Yeet! You guys know I don't like these snow levels. So when I pull out into uh, the lead here, it's always nice. Noise, noise, noise. Let's see if I can get this bonus token. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't worth risking the tokens. I... All right, we made it in. Uh, let's see here. Goo morning. Hopefully it wasn't a goo morning. <laughs> glad to, uh, glad to see you in chat, my dude. It's been a while. You playing any Apex Legends? I don't, I don't think I've seen you play any of that. I've been playing that like it's going out of style. And I'm excited too, because there's a bunch of new content coming. There was a new character leaked again. So now we got two new characters to look forward to. And this next one is really cool, too, because, like, he can help you track enemies, like, in a squad. So if you take down one of the guys and, and you do a finisher on him, it will actually show you where his allies on his team are for, like, 10 or 20 seconds or something like that, which is craziness. Speaking of craziness, I got to get into some serious... I... Fourth lap already. All right. Uh, just a big old log jam there. Oh, I know if I don't finish fifth in a race, too, Tyler's going to show up right when it happens, huh? Get good, get good. Back in the pack again, dang. Oh. This track is... What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? I thought I blue screened, you guys. I totally thought I blue screened. I don't know how, there's no way I could have pushed that button. That was really weird. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. I'll take first. Thank you. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Capital N O. Uh, finger button combo. Yeah, but how do I hit the PlayStation button? Doesn't even seem possible. And keep in mind, I actually had a blue screen on this game on week, like, episode 4. And, uh, it actually corrupted my save data, which is why I've been so religiously saving. Because not only could I make a mistake and not finish the race, but the game could totally do what it's already done to me once and erase all my progress. And that was nice of that Camaro to smash me right into the place for all them yokins.
All right, I think there's. I was gonna say there's. Oh, I missed them. There's two more in that outer left lane, but I don't know if they're worth trying to get because how close they are to penalty. F -f Final lap. Mark's ridden with me before. He knows this is exactly how I drive on the road too. <laughs> Did you make it to PAX this year, Mark? I don't know if you went and tooled around at the show or not. I thought about it. Gary and I talked about it, but we just ended up uh, not executing in time. Oh, I missed the final one! New Apex event tomorrow. Shared vid on Skype. Nice. Ooh. Ah, ooh, I like this one too. This one's fun. I can't say the name of it, but it's fun. Oh, come on. Come on. That is funny. Actually, now, now I'm, I'm totally having a flashback, Mark, to when we went to PAX, like, like six years ago. The first year when we didn't go in, we just met up with Patrick and Shane and, all, and Malik and all those guys, remember? And we went and had dinner with them and stuff. And then remember we gave Patrick a ride back to his hotel? And remember in your Honda, he was like, Big guy in a little car. Big guy in a little car. And you remember too how uh, he thought you were like a <laughs> super insane driver, which you weren't. It was hilarious though. He was like terrified. And Mark was not driving like a crazy face or nothing. And oh my guy Patrick was just terrified. <laughs> and I remember him saying something too like, I'm never getting a car with that guy again. <laughs> oh, that was so funny, man. I miss I miss those days when we all yeah. Even even Shane, man. I miss miss hanging out with old Shane. And of course, Malik hit the big time, got all famous on us. But yeah, cool stuff. Good times. Never forget those moments. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Camaro. Oof. Oof. And here we come into the final corner. Leading the pack, it's the one and only. Me, me, get a dub. Uh, that was funny. Uh, let's see here. College going to study. Vocational studies. First time managed value of money. That's nice. And English. Sweet deal. Well, you seem to have English down pretty well. I know that's not what you mean, though. Yeah, Reese has got some crazy classes. He's got, like, computer design or computer something. He's got uh, automotive. He's got uh, uh, some other, like, technology course, too, that, like, I don't know exactly what they're going to learn, but... Um, but yeah, so he's going to learn, like, the basics of, like, Photoshop and things that I do, which is going to be really cool because I'm going to be able to be like, oh, you need help with your homework, huh? His mom can do, like, all of the math and all the other stuff that's hard because she teaches that stuff, and it's very fresh and, and familiar to her. Whereas I could do it, but i got to look some stuff up and really got to jog my memory in some cases to be like, oh, yeah, that's right. You do have to carry the one after you do this or whatever, you know. And so it's going to be nice to be able to actually provide some, like, first hand knowledge to my dude's homework be able to actually help him and coach him and mentor. and it's stuff i've been trying to teach him for years but you know video games are more important and more fun than you know learning how to edit a photo or something right like i mean eventually he'll want those skills anyways to like make fun of his friends and you know like backslash we rule that kind of stuff and if you know you know and if you don't you don't but uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had I had lunch with Nam the other day. Speaking of backslash, we rule, Mark. Um, yeah, it's good to see him. We played a bunch of Apex Legends afterwards, and him and Gary made 
good fun of me and had a blast mm-hmm. trolling me for the time that we played. It was fun. So, yes, nothing has changed. Nam is still the same. Alright, there should be a token coming up. One last one on the left. Take that gas. Thank you very much. Come on. Where you at? There you go. I won't lie. It's going to feel really good to platinum this game, you guys. Like, really good. I'm hoping that it happens with minimal effort here as the next hour or two goes by. We're making some good ground on these races. As you guys knew, we had, uh, what, 83 races or something like that to do. And now we're uh, now we're down to 50. So we've knocked out a bunch. Like a bizonch. I haven't got to my Voodoo Doll Donut yet either. So as it sits right now, what do we, we got? 50? 50. 50 races left. Hey, Mark, did you know we're getting a dog? You probably knew that. I just haven't talked to you a whole lot in the last, like, well, a couple months, really. Ever since you got that fancy job, man, where all the hours change and everything, it's harder to get a hold of you. Aye! Whoa! 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 This is a one lapper, you guys. One lapper. And I already missed out on my token, so I gotta get all of the turbos, which are coming up. So I'm start left, and then right, and then left. Woo, I almost didn't get that cut. Oh, I'm not going to get that one. Dang it. You get caught falling asleep there on this on this level. Hey! That was nice. I totally drove in the sand and it didn't mess with me at all. I think there's one more coming up. Nope, that's it. Yeet! Our little boy has turned into a little mom. That's funny. Dude, he's been working for Columbia Sportswear for like seven, six, seven years now? Five, six, seven years? I, I asked him what he does. I said, so what do you do for them? Stuff. <laughs> said, I hope it isn't math. <laughs> um, no, he does uh, a lot of the product. He actually kind of does what... So, I don't know if you guys know this, and I don't know how much of this I should really talk about, but um, a couple couple years, well, it's actually been a year ago. It's been a year since our dude, Paz, like, woke up from some cold sweat nightmares and had this crazy epiphany, this idea. And the idea was oh, how yeah. to efficiently, uh-oh, we got a new sub coming in. I can't see the name. Welcome to the channel, though, regardless. Um... It was about how to more efficiently track packages, specifically like forwards and things for people that, uh, you know, move or businesses or whatever. Um, Paz presented this idea to his boss and actually got tossed into uh, a creative group and was asked to come present this idea to like the main office down in, I don't know, Bumsville, Florida. I don't know exactly where it is. Um, but uh, he ended up going, and, and they, they liked his idea, and, and they offered him a, uh, a higher position, uh, and it was management, lots of different hours, lots of responsibility, and Paz took it on for a minute and just decided that, you know, although he was happy that they used his idea, that that wasn't really what he wanted to do, so he went, you know, back to what he liked doing, and, um, you know, oh, come on, come on. Um and I was actually, I had like a nice little fun little story for you that had some relevance to something else too, but I'm having a brain fart remembering what it was. Uh, there was somebody else that had done something too. So what, something in the chat reminded me of that. So Brian, about to crew two, do you think you need to go out there? So as it sits right now, Timothy, I do not have the crew two. I might be able to round up access to it at some point. Right now my hard drive is completely full on my PlayStation right now. As you can see, I've got... I got a ton of big games, and some of them are really large. Like, this one is, I don't know how many gigs, but it's, like, it's a lot of gigabytes. 
uh, over 100 gigs. Uh, so, yeah, um, at this time, I, I can't make any promises, uh, but, you know, a couple weeks down the road or something like that, once I finish up a few of these games, like Horizon Chase Turbo is going to be down and deleted today, but it's not even a full gigabyte, so I'm not going to gain much space. So uh, we'll definitely look into that, and I'll have to figure out what my access is and everything. I think, I think somebody might be able to loan me a copy of it. I won't say who, but somebody might have it so um that being said and if not i might be able to round up my own copy that's something that i never really I, I i played the first one a little bit and i actually played it at pax with cross like six years ago five years ago when it first came out um i thought the game was fun but wasn't it sort of broken when it released i feel like it was kind of a mess the first one not the second one i, I never played the second one and i really wish i would remember what what i was i was telling something about Paz and his stuff, but it was leading to something else. So there's somebody else had done something too, and how much I was supposed to say. But, anyways, long story short, we got some smart people doing some pretty efficient things around here. All right, two laps left, fourth place. Alright, third is at least acceptable. I can't take anything less than third. Really, it's first or second is what I prefer, but... Missing the gas left and right. really need some gas you guys you guys you guys all right so this is one little trick too that I'll teach you when your fuel is low it'll actually show you on the map where the fuel is but you have to take a look at the compass on the left hand side which could end up in a crash so what I do is I pause it and then immediately unpause it and look over there and it gives me three seconds before I'm back driving so I can see do I have fuel coming up boy I do not have fuel for a while so I'm gonna hit a boost and try to pass Buddy here and just hope I make it and actually get at least one of these tanks coming up here. I can't remember where... Okay, good. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I got one more boost. I'm in second. There's first right there. Got a series of turns here. And here we go. Yay! Just enough to cross the finish line. Uh, I'm doing good. How about you? Joey, what's up, my dude? Uh, it's all good. I am patient. German Schmiegel coined by me. Yep. That is true. It's a German Schmiegel. Yep, he will be here on the 14th, which is pretty awesome. Whoa, race 61. Have I already raced 10 more since we saved last? I'm going to race one more and do it. I feel like we just saved. Like, I feel like we just saved, but... What's that? Eggplant? What's that? What? What? P potentially the wrong emoji there? Or what, what am I missing here? <laughs> no, I, I know. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like... <laughs> uh, it's getting an update. Getting, getting a... Uh, what do they call it? Uh, ur an urban lesson, if you will. <laughs> oh, right up the middle. I split them. Dang it. Yeet. Hey, Mark, you should uh, see if you could come down for uh, Fan Fest. I believe, I'll have to look. It's either October 6th or October 8th, whatever that Sunday is for that week. But you could come stay like, you know, the weekend, the night before, or whatever. And then uh, we could go to Fan Fest, the Blazers scrimmage, the uh, 
they play themselves, you know, and you get to meet the players and hang out, and they do all sorts of fun promotional games and stuff out front, outside while you're waiting, and usually they have a uh, like some sort of a DJ or somebody out there hanging out, like a radio station, and that's cool. We've gone like the last five years or four, four, five, six years. Uh, you stand in line, first come, first serve, so you get there early and you stand in line, and you can actually sit like lower bowl, like courtside almost. The last few years, we've been like four rows up from the court. And we didn't get there like ridiculously early like some of the people do. Woo! -wee. But yeah, I'll have to look again. But like I said, it's either the 6th or the 8th of October. So, I mean, if you got some open time on that weekend, man, come down. It'd be nice to see you and Debbie. D2, of course, but you get know what I'm saying. Even if it's just you. Check the tape. They were on the side of the road after the starting line. <laughs> oh, man. We'll have to go back and look at that another time. All right. Is the dog named Cheshire? Nope, it is not Cheshire. I won't for sure give away any uh, for sure answers on the dog unless somebody really guesses it. Uh, let's see here. I was just checking the date real quick. Let's see if I could find that out. So it's the 8th. No, that's September 8th. That's Pacific Waterlands. That's a Volkswagen show. You don't want to come for that. Well, you might. But that's next weekend. Um, let's see here. Uh, calendar. October. It's the 6th. October 6th. So, if that's something that interests you, man, it's like I said, it's free. And, uh, you know, all we got to do is just show up about two hours early, hang out in the parking lot, and hang out with a bunch of other crazy Blazer fans and... Like I said, the Blazers usually come and walk around and introduce themselves and stuff, too, while you're waiting. And, or right as the doors open, I should say. They don't usually don't make appearances before. But, I mean, we got all these new guys, Hassan Whiteside, that just loves, you know, interacting with people. So, you never know. Man, I've missed, like, all the tokens. There's four laps, though, so... I don't even think I've got one token yet. That's crazy. I just finally got some. So, uh, PAX has been going on. There's been a few game announcements and, you know, some update trailers and things. Anything that uh, you guys are excited for? I know that Ilphonic right now is making a game called uh, Predator of the Hunting Grounds, which is definitely a mature game, but it looks amazing. Um... I like those cooperative, fun play. Like, like the Friday the 13th game was really fun to play with friends. Um, I didn't really get into Dead by Daylight. I know that's another game that's often compared as that same type of genre, but I didn't really care for that game. Uh, definitely like Friday the 13th, though. And uh, Ilphonic was definitely involved in the creation of that game, so hopefully there will be some remnants of the Friday the 13th gameplay in the Predator game. But it's it looks sweet, man. Like... If you guys have seen the Predator movies, which are scary R-rated movies, you definitely get to go hunt down and and uh, chase the Predator, or be the Predator and hunt down, and you know, so it's 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 c -c crazy. So there's no way I'm getting all of the tokens, but I've got plenty of gas, and I got a couple of juice boxes to unpack. Here we go, juice box number one. Hey. <laughs> I rammed him right into that one. Uh, oh, come on. He paid me back. That'd be crazy if somehow I did end up getting all of the tokens up and up. They're split on either side. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Woo! Woo! There's a new Mountain Dew out, huh? You know, I can't... I can't do the Mountain Dew. And which packs am I going to? I'm not actually going to any of them. Not this year. Uh, if we go next year, though, it would definitely be PAX West, the, the main one up in Seattle. Um, that, that's the closest one. Mark actually lives in Tacoma, which is only about a 20 to 30 minute drive, depending on traffic from the actual convention center where it happens. And Mark is usually my preferred place to stay. I have stayed in hotels before, though, too. Um, it's actually a lot easier doing the whole event for three or four days if you're staying in a hotel right there because you can literally walk to and from and take breaks if you need to where we had to go to the car every time which was fine and mark's got a nice big car that he always shared with all of us but you know it, was, it still still wasn't as easy as just going to a hotel and like kicking back and laying down and watching some tv or whatever so um all in all, we might go where there's discussion of going next year, but uh, that's that's still a ways out, so we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to June or July-ish next year. That's about when they open up the registration and all of that. And there's talk of E3 as well. You know, I've never actually been to E3 down in L.A., uh, you know, and of course you guys know that we are buddies with Monkey Flop, Scott, who actually lives down in L.A. area and goes to a lot of those types of events. Um, he goes to all sorts of movie premieres and, like, new, uh, you know, like the Mortal Kombat. They did that big thing a while back. He was there. Like, he gets invited to a lot of, a lot of stuff. I'm not sure why I did that, but that was fun. Made things interesting, huh? Will I be able to recover? Of course! Woo! Uh, do I live in Tacoma? I personally do not. No, I live in Salem, Oregon, down a little bit further, about three hours south of Tacoma. And uh, so it's, it's not a far drive for me at all. I, I just hop in the car and go north. It's real easy up the I-5 corridor, pfft, right up there, and then take a right when I get to Tacoma and head all the way out into Bumsville. Boy, when you're driving to Mark's house, like... I remember the first time I was driving there. This was back before Google Maps was, like, active on phones. So I had to print out a bunch of stuff on paper. And, you know, so I had, like, very set instructions on where to go and no real live time tracking or coordinates or anything like that. So when I took the turn and went across the bridge and headed out towards the industrial area, you think you're, like, heading out into the middle of nowhere. Now, you don't know this, but there's this giant hill on the right side that you drive along for... I don't know how many miles, probably six, seven miles at least. And it's a huge hilltop. Well, his stop, his place and all of his, uh, you know, little shopping centers and everything, they're all at the top of that hill. So you're like driving seemingly out in the middle of nowhere. And then you take a hard right and go up this hill, which is a fun hill to go up, my, I might add. And, um, or down too. It's fun coming down. A little dangerous though, a little turny. But uh, anyways... All of a sudden, you're like at the top, and it's just like this whole awesome community up there. Brand, not brand new, but it's actually relatively new. Um, so I just remember being terrified the first time, being like, calling him, dude, like, Mark, I've crossed like four train tracks, and I'm, I can't see anything but buildings. Like, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to live. I think I'm going to get murdered before I get to your house, dude. But uh, no, it's, it's actually, uh, so he, he doesn't live downtown Tacoma, but. It's still a fun drive. Pretty easy. Easy as long as you know where you're going. Ooh. I thought it was going to be a photo finish. Uh, let's see here. Bellevue is a suburb of Seattle. You live in Bellevue? Yeah. No, I've been to Bellevue before. For me, I'm in Mountain Home, Idaho. Nice. Let's see here. How about Silent Hill? Have they played? Uh, I played, what was it? Uh, the one where they went back. It was like the new one. It wasn't the remaster, but the uh, the other one. I can't even remember what it was called. That was a long time ago. It was one of the first main games that I covered for Happy Thumbs. Uh, I know, right? It's weird thinking that I covered a Silent Hill game for Happy Thumbs because we, we actually covered anything and everything until we hit that Grand Theft Auto moment where we got slapped on the wrist and told we couldn't do that kind of stuff anymore. And made sense for us so we stopped it and now we're doing uh, mature stuff on our HTG TV channel so we get best of both worlds
boy, those are some greasy turns. I hate that these other racers don't respect my lanes. Like, if I'm in the far right lane, they'll move into it. I I, I do the same thing to them, I, I guess. It's, it's only fair, but... You'd think that the game would have a little bit of forgiveness towards the player. Whoa, that's a little set of hills at the end there. Oh, Woo, to the hoo! Yeah. Oh, we got another sub. Let's quickly check out this. French fries, what's up? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yo. All right. I should have had some sort of a counter going for how many more races we have left. We're getting down there. We've still got like 46, 44, 45, something like that. But at two minutes apiece, they're going fast. Oh. Keep it off the grass, Brian. Keep it off the grass. That's a that's a different uh this that Toyota's normally not in first. It's usually the Camaro or Paul Walker. Yeah. Signal when changing lanes. <laughs> Mountain Dew Voodoo, huh? Interesting. That's what people call a hypocrite, huh? Could be, could be. Let's see here. Got some buzzing coming in. Anything important? Ooh, I received an invitation from Mark. I didn't get it, though, on screen. I had to see it on my phone. I don't get any notifications on screen. Aye! All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Terrible line there, right in the middle for them tokens. And I missed one of those, too. Whew. I don't know how I didn't spin out there. All right. Keep it together, 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 keep it together. Oh, yeah. I'm not expecting to get a blue screen because I am quitting so often and saving. I feel like there's a good chance that I won't run into that. Wow, that's a tough little line. And I know I just got another new sub, and unfortunately I was not able to see it. I need, Like I said, I need to fix. I need to try and set things up a little differently so that I can see that better. Really, what I need is like a third TV, a third monitor, and just have one of them be social media stuff. And I might be able to make that happen, actually, because I have a a games monitor. Uh, I would just need another source. Yeah, that's a funny angle. Uh, I need another source to blast up the information. So if I could find like a USB to, uh, or an HDMI to the micro SD for my phone, which I don't even know if that would work if they do that. Uh, well, I might be able to do it that way, but so we got some options. I don't, don't really have room for a third computer tower up here. Uh, a laptop might get her done though. I do have a laptop. I used to use it right here, but I had troubles with the Wi-Fi, and it would always it was better, more steady over there. So. But having it over there also blocks off potential, uh, you know, names for subs and things like that. I just can't see them. All right, so this is the Scooby-Doo level, if you guys remember. There's all these little mystery wagons everywhere. This is actually a fairly tough level, especially the first lap, because 
so many people just crowd you. And it's hard to get through the turns without just getting smashed into the wall or another car. Usually after half a lap, I can kind of get through the pack and figure out my line and make it happen. And that seems to be what's happened here. A couple of squirrely turns coming up here. Oh, I looked at the compass and just ate it. Nom, 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 nom. corner every time it's got me so hopefully I'll get those that last I think it's one token it might be two it's just kind of a funny angle boy I'm only in fourth there's third right there all right one lap two guys one boost. There's one of them right there. Okay, I made it through that first. Oh, and I missed the tokens! I made it through that turn, though. Which is probably better than getting those tokens. Got some good go. Oh! Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together! This looks like I'm going to take second here. It's all right, though. Second's fine. Second's fine. Take the L. Uh, what's wrong with the into? What? 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 I'm missing out on something. Uh, for those who subscribe and already subscribe, call Happy Squad. Happy Squad, if you agree. Uh, I've always tried to come up with some sort of fun, like, like thumb night. You know, like thumby, but not. You know, like I don't know. I've tried to come up with all sorts of names, and I failed miserably. Happy Squad doesn't sound terrible. It doesn't. I don't know if it has quite the ring though. But. Uh, yeah, no, I, I would agree. It's not, it's, it's not bad, but it, it, I don't know if that's it. And I've never really found it, you know, but I couldn't find, you know, I was having a hard time with, like, the German Shepherd and the Beagle mixing, and you guys came through with the German Schmeagel, Kirsten in specific, but, you know, the chat saves the day sometimes, so um, if you guys got some suggestions or ideas, let me know. Same with, like, t-shirt requests and things. Like, if you guys got something you'd like to see, or if you... Like, like, you know, Harry Potter was asking if he could get his name on the back of one. Yeah, now I have to custom make that, but I can do that for you guys. Um, I can't do a ton all the time, but I can certainly do some here and there, you know, like a couple of months at least, because it does take a little bit of time, but I should be able to duplicate a product and then just add the name. So it shouldn't take too much time. Assuming that you want an existing piece of merch with just your name on it. If you're wanting a whole new custom shirt, that that's going to be different. That'll be tougher. Alright, three laps, one down, and we've got five guys to pass. Alright, well, middle right after the finish line. Hopefully I can tag all the rest of the tokens and get that. That's a nice straight stretch to get your boost on. You know, I wonder, I wonder how many times the oil's been changed in this car. I'm putting a lot of miles on it. Ah, oh, it's on the left side. What a noob. I thought it was on the right the whole time, and I'm hugging the right, and it's on the left. Whoopsie. All right, so as soon as I come through the finish line, it'll be on the right. Where is it? It's right in the middle, isn't it? I don't remember where it is. It's coming up somewhere. There it is. And I missed all that gas. That's actually not good. Oh. Well, a boost is better than nothing. 
I just missed the fuel. Man, there's only one more section of fuel left. Oy. Hopefully I can get there with... Oh, man, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to run out of fuel, you guys. I blew it. We're going to have to revert to one of my saves. Oh, yeah, I really blew it now. Oh, come on. It's at the top of the hill. All right. Whoops. That's not good. Oops, that's not what I want. Uh, saved on USB. Copy to system storage. You got to do this carefully, otherwise you mess it all up, and that's not what we want. Uh, let's see here. Save data. Copy over. Yes, nine two from eleven forty one. Copying over right now. Yep. All right. Merchandising, merchandising, merchandise. So what did I miss out on? Three or four of three? Or was that the first one? I feel like we just saved again. Dude, lots of people are streaming World of Warcraft again. I noticed that uh, they must have released some sort of retro version or something of it. So 62 of 109. Where was I just a minute ago? Golden Path. All right. Wow. 61? I still feel like... Hmm. Could you imagine if I hadn't have saved? Could you imagine? So I missed out on five races, four races. Dang. All right, making fuel a priority. Boy, I was hoping to plow through this and not make any mistakes, but I'm glad I had saved when I did. Yeah, it's so important to get that fuel on some of these. Some of them, it doesn't matter at all. You can actually not get even one tank and make it fine, but most of them, you need to get some. And the levels, they throw it at you so fast, too. Like, you don't really see where it's coming from. Like with all the junk that's coming down, all the debris and the... Alright, I'm in fifth. Oi! We got one more lap. Okay, I was thinking this was final lap. I was like, man, how am I doing so terrible? I should be catching up to these guys. These gays. Yes. Still a chance to get the token to get the free boost. I don't know where they all are, though. I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, boy! Another one back down. Redone did. Yeah, happy thumb drives. No, it's not a bad idea. Uh, I, I did look into that a little bit. It looks like it might be a little bit out of our, you know, price point that we'd like to uh, spend on that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, when you start having to pay like 25 to $35 each and you got to have like a bunch of them, like 50 of them made, I, th I think that was 25 was the minimum order that I saw on one site, uh, but 25 times 
you know, 25 can get pretty expensive for some thumb drives. Uh, especially when they're only 32 gigabytes. You can add like 128 and like big ones, but they get really expensive. Now, I haven't given up on that yet. I only looked at a couple of places, but uh, Gray suggested that since I'm always backing up stuff and suggested you guys back up stuff, that uh, we offer some Happy Thumbs thumb drives. And I thought that was actually a really good idea. So I looked into it and uh, I'm going to continue to look into it until I can hopefully find a cost-effective solution for it. But, you know, if, and if you guys know something where we can get them maybe cheaper, you know a good place or whatever, please pass on the info. I'd be happy to check it out. I hit that lapper so hard. Knocked him in the next week. Kerfurt. All right. Yo, 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 what's up, farmer? Welcome to the stream, my dude. <coughs> Tyler missed his opportunity to come in and tell me to get good because I just failed miserably luckily I was using my exploit and I was able to revert my save Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. oh come on I was trying to cut right through there G, get out of my way. All right, two laps left. Pulling into sixth after one. Not too bad. Not too great either. Got four of those boosters. Should be earning a freebie here in a minute, too, once we unlock the rest of these tokens up here. Oop. Oh, I missed the far left lane. All right, so far left. Followed by... That's it, far left. All right. Far right for a finish boost. was moving get good kind of just like I don't know how to do that yeah no I uh, I deserved it let's see here no handling top speed that's what we want so all right I because I'm a noob is it this next one was it the royal sunset I, I'm gonna back out and save it again I'm gonna save these all right settings let's see if I make sure I do this right this time Save data in storage, copy to USB. All right, so we've officially overwritten those ones that we had to redo. And if we fail again, we'll be able to just jump right back in where we left off. It actually doesn't take very long to load up the game or save or any of that. So uh, 30 seconds, 40 seconds or something like that. Little stretchy poo. All right, we're at 65, so I think we are what one either this is the race that we failed on, or it's the one right after it. Um, but we're getting good. Er, er. All right, yeah, it was the track after this because I remember beating this one. Oof. Oh my gosh. 
Good thing I saved it, guys. Good thing I saved it. Holy cow. I haven't taken this big of a beating since I played Ultimate Chicken Horse with Tyler last. <laughs> My gosh. Roadhogs, let me pass. Meanies. All right, here we come. Yeah, I remember coming through that and being like, Bleh. Yikes. I think I'm moving a little too fast for my own good right now. See, I'm having a hard time catching him in fourth, and then soon I'll just go zoom, flying by him, even if I'm not using boost. Closer we get to that finish line. Ah. Left side nitro, all right. Notice how much gas I'm getting this time. And I wouldn't drive 155, and I wouldn't drive 155. 155 is fast, you guys. I don't know if you realize how fast that really is, but 155 miles an hour is moving. I've definitely gone fast, but uh, that's dangerous fast. Definitely dangerous fast. All right, 210. All right, so we are almost back to where we were before I flubbed up. Peanut gallery, Brian's little peanuts. Donut squad. <laughs> uh, I like the idea. Of just trying to keep three words. Happy thumbs. Happy fingers. The finglets. Happy thumbs and the finglets. <laughs> Come on. All right, getting some gas. No, I think it was actually the next track, wasn't it? Yeah, man, so I was almost to another save again, and I messed up. Yeah, because this is the one where I couldn't get that funny angle. Let's see if I can get it this time and get the bonus boost. Boy, lots of turns back and forth. Slipping and a sliding. Oh. Ooh, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. All right. Here comes that last set of tokens. I can never get these, though. Oh, I got all of them but one. All of them but one. Oh, I let off way too late. Dag nabbit. Second place it is. That's all right. Second's fine. 136, 142. Yeah, I've, I've definitely upgraded a little bit. 225 feet per second. It's moving fast. Moving fast. Alright. Oh, I need to stretch a little bit. Oh wait, it wasn't this one either. Man, I was I was basically ready for another save. That's a bummer. <laughs> Dog pile on the rabbit, are you kidding me? Looking for those vegetables too. We haven't, I haven't made any notice of any vegetables. Whew. 
<laughs> Take that. Oh, I forgot. Inside left lane. Left lane. That's, I think, all of them, too. If I get those, I'm pretty sure I'm boosting. Uh, uh, keep it together, keep it together. All right. I don't know why I have a hard time remembering the, that left lane. Side. Here we come. All right, got the boost. Hold on. Oh. Over the mountains and through the woods. Woohoo! That was close. What's up there, Handy George? Welcome to the stream. All right, let me see if I can fix this a little bit so I can maybe see what's going on over there when we get a new sub. Uh, all right, so in theory, I should be able to see all that now. Uh, Nintendo Switch. <laughs> oh, page, page, page. Got to make sure everybody knows, right? All right, Golden Path. Hmm. 68. Is this the one I died on? I feel like it was either this one or the one. It was this one. It was this one. So I gotta get gas. Gotta make sure to get that petty. That patch roll. Let's pay attention too to see where they are. Alright, paying attention. Alright. Right after the finish line. <sighs> doesn't really help me getting any right now yes this is a long one I gotta get gas I should have saved again dang it winning wasn't a problem I was in first until I ran out of gas Not even worried about the tokens, really. I know I got two more laps. Okay, guess. Got some. Come on, get off me. I hate it when they pin me over there. I don't have a choice but to take it. All right. So I still got a full tank. Yep. Seems like all the tokens are left side, so I need to try and stay heavy left. Oh, as I say that, here comes two on the right. That's hilarious. All right, so they're heavy left minus those. All right, so I need to get the gas at the beginning here. More important than the tokens for sure. We've got three more boosts. There's second. Oh, I missed that gas. All right, well, that's all right, though. I got plenty. I think. Even a third place would be acceptable here. I mean, I don't want it, but I would accept it. Better than getting owned. 
<laughs> go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Alright. I feel like that was the one. I'm gonna i I'm, I am I'm gonna save it because I'm feeling a little bit worried. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, what's your favorite game to play on which console? That is a good question. Get gas. That's funny. Mike, did you see my voodoo doll? We went to voodoo yesterday and spent a small fortune on donuts. They're good, though. They're good. <laughs> All right. That's still a long stretch. We're at 69, though, so we have four... D races left. 4D. 4-0. Oh. Boy, this one. This one. I forgot about this one. It's called like Cyclone or something like that. Yeah. Wasn't paying attention, I guess. It's just one heavy turn into another heavy turn. Ten laps. Yike. Hopefully I'll get those tokens at some point, huh? Wow. Oh. Oh. That was greasy. trying to get that boost. I was going to say, I should be coming up on some lappers pretty soon, and here they are. Some more, anyways. We've already, that's the third one I think we've passed now. Fourth. I wonder if I can pass them all. Not at this rate, huh? Fifth, maybe? Sixth right there, but dang, right into the... Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to pass that guy. Nope. Alright. Gas was definitely a factor on this one, but we did good. So I passed at least, oh, I thought I was done. <laughs> Clearly, as I let off, <laughs> so six, seven, oh, eight, that would have been eight. Here comes the eighth lapper we've passed. Eight, let's see if I can pass, nope, eight, eight of the pack. Uh, how many races have I done today? We've done, we started off at 30. 
And we've done... I don't know. I think we're on... Here, we'll find out in a second. We started at race number 30. And so we're on 70. So I've done 40 races today, but I also messed up and I had to go back and do like five or six other races. So we've done about 45 to 47 races today. And I have less than that now in order to finish. So um, definitely more like the hour and a half-ish is what I'm thinking. Hoping, hoping for it to complete this in four hours or less total time today. And right now we're at 2.25, so... Gotta get over here. Yep, I remember this one. And then in the middle. But I missed one at the beginning, so... And I think there's two more lines coming up. Wow! Wow! I do not know how I made it through there, but I'm not complaining. And there it is. I was gonna say, it's gonna catch up to me at some point. Bang, bang, boom, boom, bomb, bomb, boom. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sometimes they flip right there in that tunnel, and I still haven't really ever figured out why. Apparently some cars don't have good turning and can, like, <laughs> destruct on turns. I don't know. It's weird. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. one on one mo we got these tokens up here in a really tricky spot coming back to the right i think it's right here oh i got one of them you got to cut hard right or be going pretty slow to get that i'm playing with fire for sure All right, it'd be super nice to catch that bonus. So it's left, and then right, and then in the turn right here. Oh, and I bonused right into the wall. What a maroon. I got two of those guys left. Wow, broskies. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, check yourself. What are we? What? What are we talking about here? Ooh, majestic. All right. I'll do a couple more, and then I'll do another save. Kind of out of my 10 loop, so I got to get back on track with that. And seeing as it's so quick and easy to save, and beneficial to me to save, might as well keep doing it often. Oh, I tried to cut. Paid the price. Paid the price. <laughs> you win some and you lose some. I clearly lost that one. So for those of you who are all caught up on the hidden videos, too, for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, there should be a new one going up today after the stream. I just got to get access to Gary to it first to make sure I didn't miss anything or um, stuff like that. Because it's a pretty important video as it's the preparing for free play. Um, but once that's up, I'll start keeping on with the... Uh, the free play vids so collectibles will start popping up soon for those of you i don't know is anybody actually playing along trying to complete it or are you guys just watching for funsies i feel like most of you have already completed it and are just watching for funsies and that's totally okay i know that some people out there haven't played it yet or will go back and replay it um, as a result of us putting that up so that's awesome too but uh, you know i'm curious to see what the uh, the regulars are saying regarding that if you're playing it if you already played it 
What's good? Oh boy. Was not expecting that. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, second place it is. I thought I was going to sneak up on him and get him. Hey, Gray, thanks for hanging. Always a pleasure hosting you. Uh, we'll see you when you come back. Maybe it'll be in a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know. We're making some good ground, though. It'd be nice to see you right when we cross that finish line and get that platinum. <laughs> Faz, ain't no way I'd be able to play that. Yeah, your micro skills have to be up a little higher than usual. That's a pure ponage. Anybody ever watch pure ponage? The old show with Garrett and FPS Doug and some of the content's definitely more of a teen or mature audience, but uh, some of it's awesome. Some of it's awesome. They've had a web series. They've had a movie on Hulu. They've had uh, they've had a bunch of stuff. These guys are funny. They've had all sorts of like RPG series. They've had the uh, FPS Doug series, the the Owner series. Uh, I definitely enjoy their their stuff. It's funny. It's it's dumb, but it's but it's funny. You know, they're all Canadian, so I, if you're Canadian, you probably won't like it. It's just like everybody that I know that's Canadian hates the Trailer Park Boys, and they're like, that's not how Can Canadians are. <laughs> and us Americans are all like, we know, we know you're not like that, but it's still funny. I mean, it's terrible more than it's funny, but it's funny terrible. Okay, there might be just the one token left. Nope. Psych. Now there might just... Oh, psych. All right, final lap. Aye! Of course, I have to mess up big time on the final one. Big time! What? What just happened? So there's one coming on the left. Oh, come on, buddy. And then I got some on the right, but it's going to be photo finish. Oh, no, it won't. No, it won't. Psych. Psych. Come on, third. Whew. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, all right, so we're... Uh, not thrilled about a third place, but we'll take it. Uh, twist and shout. I feel like uh, I feel like now's a good time to say it, huh? Hey, Coney, what's up? Star Wars: The Complete Saga. Yep. What's SWTCS? That's that's the project we're currently working on right now. Like I said, the uh, hidden videos have uh, made it all the way through story. And as of today, we'll also be blessed with the preparing for free play video. So if you're definitely one of those ones who watches all the way to the end and uses the link at the very end screen there to go ahead and watch the next video, you will have a new video. It's been like a week since I've uploaded anything new. So I know a lot of you are like, come on, upload something else. So I'm, I'm definitely uh, going to be delivering in that department here later today. So in the next two hours or so, it should be up and ready for your viewing pleasure if you watch the end. Now, it won't release publicly uh, through the channel and uh, probably for another two weeks or so because we still got to finish up episode five and episode six of the story which if you remember we're only releasing videos tuesdays thursdays and saturdays now we also didn't release one saturday because we had the game break so basically any of our off upload days now we upload basically monday through saturday we take sunday off it's kind of our family day um every once in a while we upload on sunday too and something happens sometimes there's a game break on sunday as well but uh, for the most part, we try to keep Sundays uh, family time. But, you know, we've talked about doing some, like, fun series, like a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday type of series. And Oh, sweet deal. Sweet deal. Three laps. Hey.
Man, I have missed every pickup possible. Every gas can, every boost. And I think this is an upgrade map that we would normally see on World Tour versus... My gosh, yes. All right. So I need some gas. Big time. This level kind of messes with my eyes. It all just kind of blends together, the purple and the reds. Okay, I got one thing of gas. That's good. There's another one. It should be all right, then. <laughs> the Wesley Wabbit! Come on! This is crazy! Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That was a hot lap, though. It's the best one I've had yet. Nice. Alright, so I'm in third. Third lap. Two boosts. Yeet. Aye. I should have waited. I should have waited. No, oh, I got him. Got him. Keep it together. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more set of squirrels, and we are in there. Woo to the hoo. All right, uh, let's see here. What what what, what 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 might I know? I think there are achievements on the Wii as well. No achievements at all on the PlayStation or on the on the Nintendo systems, as far as I've ever heard. I don't think there's any of that available. Uh, let's see here. No handling available. So let's go top speed. ECU. I have a flash on my GTI. Actually, doesn't make it go top, higher top speed. Well, it kind of does. But it also it actually gives it a stronger fuel curve, so I get there faster. All right, 74 of 109. We're uh, getting close. I'm gonna want to take a quick tank draining break here in a second too, before we get into the final stretch. I'll probably wait till we get in like the final 25 or so. I think I can hold it off a little longer. All right, one of four. It's always good to check your lap count right at the beginning so you know how long you have to survive in this particular track. Man. All right. I need some petrol, some gas. in the right. Okay. Two left. So I should be all right on gas. Oh, well, actually, overall. Should be another. Yep, I was going to say. Yeah, tokens in the middle. Right. Let's go. One might say that I am hauling. Was moving. Ah, oh, not a whole lot, demon. I did mess up. Were you here for that? Where I had to start over? Not start over, over, but I had to revert my save a couple of, a couple of levels back. That was not fun. It, I think we ended up counting. I had to do like seven races over again. I, Gary, Gary told me at one point, but he. He told me how many races I had left versus how many I had done. So I, I, I had to math to figure that out. And I was not in any shape to do that, apparently, at the time. So, wow, that was squirrely. I do remember this track. Not a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan of the actions played by these guys here. These guys are very aggressive today for some reason. Getting dark out. Do 
I don't like darkness. You guys! No darkness, you guys! Was that a big kangaroo back there? Oh, this is so squirrely. Just hammered through it and got lucky. Ooh. This is another big squirrely one. Oh, 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 that was my coin, dude. Watch him hit the boost. Yeah, I knew it. One might say I am psychic. One might just say I've played too much of this game. <whistles> All right, coming up kind of in the middle left. I got the final token. This is the final lap, so that would be nice to grab it. Yeah, boy! Just full throttle on the bottle all the way in. -hoo 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 -hoo. Hey, what's up, Noah and the TDG2000? What is up? And yes, this is the Endurance 109. We are currently in race 70-something. We'll find out here in a hot second. Uh, closest thing to achievements is your Bitmoji. I have not seen that. So we're at 76 right now. 76 races behind us. Technically, we did uh, the two other endurances as well. So these are the last sets of races we need to do. Once we finish this up, we have one race we need to complete. Actually, we don't even need to... Com well, I guess we need to complete it. We don't need to win it. Uh, with the final car that we will unlock for beating this Endurance 109... And then that should be the last two trophies for our Platinum. So today should be the final day of Horizon Chase Turbo. And I do have a save backed up. So if I make a mistake in the Endurance, I can always revert back a couple of levels. As well as if there's any kind of a corrupt data or save issue that happened to me earlier in the streams. Um, definitely have a backup plan for that now too. Alright, so I got a 7 lap race going here. I'm moving pretty good through the pack. And got a little got a little juice for the tank too. So we're gonna need some of that likely. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I made it through there. Mm. Mm. So watch, once I get to like two laps left and one lap left, it'll be super easy to pass him. Look at that, I, I'm even already passing him. So there's one lapper, let's count them. We got one, here comes number two. So two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine people I passed. I flapped completely. That is insane. Look at some of those last times here. Wow. That's a long time after me. <laughs> wow. 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 All right, we'll do. We'll get to eighty, and then we'll go do another save. Brighton Beach. Is this like Breakdance Beach? Breakdance Beach. Anybody ever heard of Breakdance Beach? Oh, uh oh. We got a flipper impersonation out there. Oh, Billy. Cut it a little too hard. Haven't seen a token yet. What's going on with that? Ah! 
There we go. Speaking of which. Ooh, so I missed one right there at the end. And obviously I missed a couple in the double stretch back there, but... Ooh, that was a bonus. I need some gas, though. I need, like, one or two tanks of gas. Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh, keep it together, keep it together, keep it... All right. We got, should have one more up here. Oh, it's right in the middle left. Wow, okay. I don't know that I'll really need it, but middle left. Plenty of gas. I don't need to worry about that. Here comes that token. Should be right up here, middle left, as I make this turn. Oh, never mind. It's coming up here. Ah, oh, two outside. It's all right. We didn't need it. All right. My sister is going to order Fire Emblem Warriors. Nice. That's awesome. Brian, do you know you can play Lego Indy 2 because it has all four movies and has trophies? Don't play Lego Indy 1 because it doesn't have trophies and it has just the first three movies. So I, I asked this the other day, and no one, I don't think, confirmed this. Was Lego Indy 2 literally a remake of Lego Indy 1 and adding the fourth movie? Is that really all it is? Is there really no reason to play? Like, if I play Lego Indy 2, as far as the story and the mini kits and everything go for those first three levels, are they exactly the same as the first one? That would be great information to know, because I would be interested in going back and playing one or both of them. They both have achievements on the Xbox, so I do have access to those as well. Um, you know, but you guys know me, I'm a trophy guy, so it would be a lot funner -er to do it on the PS. Wow, I got really lucky on that takeoff there. Wow, and I got all those tokens there too. Jeez Louise. Okay, I missed a couple there. So I'm moving. Okay, we got some on the right and some on the left. Three lapper. I am skirting. Skirt, skirt. Oh, that was a weird physics. I. Oh. oh, got a little excited there. <laughs> uh, why you shouldn't play the first one, and two reasons why he should play the second one. So that that is true. Uh, so let's see here. Michael saying yes. Can can I get the can I get like the text too confirming? Because yes could mean you could be talking to somebody else or something too. Like does so Lego Indy one. And Lego Indy 2 are the same, except for Indy 2 has the final movie and has trophies. Is, is that correct? So it's in a sense, it's like a remaster with a DLC added, right? I mean, that's if that's the case, then that's awesome. Um, yeah, that'd be way awesome. Oh, come on. My timing is usually perfect. Yeah, I've just never played Lego Indy, so I have no idea if Lego, you know, Indy 1... And, and the storyline for the first three movies is the same as the first three level or first three levels for the the other one. I mean, that would be really good information to have. I know Michael said yes, but I, I, I would like confirmation that yes, Lego Indy two and Lego Indy one are the same, but one has trophies, one doesn't, and one has Lego has the fourth movie too. I might be complicating that more than I need to. Gary, you haven't played either of those, have you? Okay. 
Okay, perfect. That was a weird spot to get a bonus boost, but I'll take it. We got a comment. Looks like it needs approval there, too. I can't see what it is, though. I can't take my eyes away long enough to, to read it. Ah, gotcha. Look at this guy just playing ramrod over here. Just ramming me. Not even worried about anything other than smacking me. So I still got one lap left, so don't get carried away. Oh, I guess I got three boosts left. Wow, take that, buddy. Take that, smart guy. See here, if anyone wants to add me on PSN, let me know. All right, there you go. Let's see, we've already become friends, Timothy. And yes, I have it both. Sweet, 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 sweet. I'm playing 82 right now. The mini kits are different. You get one mini kit for doing a bonus level. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean like, like if I were to cover Lego Indy 2, would people who are playing Lego Indy 1 be able to follow like level one free play for level one free play on both games? Uh, that's what I'm truly asking, and I think Michael has confirmed that a couple of times now, but um, I know that the mini kit setup is a little different, uh, kind of more, it, it's closer to like the Harry Potter with like the flags or the the crest pieces, if you will, um, but, but I haven't played it, so I don't really know. Yeah, boy... So I think after this, I'll be 80 races done. And if that's the truth, then I will go ahead and make a save, and I will take a quick break. So we'll be under 30 races. My gosh, look at this guy. What is his problem? And why, when I ram cars with my boost, why do I not... He hit me like five or six times and was still able to just go propelling by me. I mean, maybe that Mustang's nitrous is way good or something, but I feel like there's some cheatery going on there. Are you even fast, though, bro? All right, another fest in the bag. So two extra version of Indy. Only different is you get Han Solo and Indy One. Oh, interesting. Lego Indy Two EU has different trophy list than US, so you can get two platinums for it. Is it's actually different lists, or they're just separate? Like one's the EU. Are are they same objectives? So like one guide will cover both, or does do you need two guides? 
Well, and keep in mind, I still got a, a couple weeks, if not a month or two, of work of Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga ahead of me. Still, uh, you know, at the pace I'm going, and um, we might speed it up as time goes. Like, if we get a release date for Lego Skywalker Saga or something soon, we might go ahead and speed that up a little bit. But for now, we're just kind of stalling, if you will. We just want new content coming to the channel pretty much every day, but. Uh, you know, we don't want to overwhelm you guys or double upload or whatever. I know a lot of people have unsubscribed to channels, not just ours, but others too, for them being too active. Too many uploads a day become too annoying and the notifications get turned off or just completely unsubscribed from. And uh, we don't want that. We don't want to upset you guys. So we're trying to do one upload a day, six days a week. And uh, But if we need to, we can we can crank it up a little bit even do more days a week or separate like 12 hours apart from each other in a day. There's various ways we can do it. So I snuck in another race. I was supposed to do a save, but I figured I could knock this one out the park right quick. And so far, I was right. Must be nice guy Tyler in that Camaro. <laughs> Hopefully, I got enough boost to get me to the fin finish line. So I haven't been getting any gas. Oh, and I just missed one, too. That was a funny spot. I might run out of gas again, you guys. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, let's see here. Uh, Dark Side Timothy, you just told me you are from Ireland. I want to visit there so bad. Yes, Ireland is cool. I'm actually natively from there, like my ancestors. Carrie is Irish. We're, we, we migrated over here from somewhere in there a long time ago. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick save. I'm going to do a couple. Of, I'm going to take a quick break, you guys. I mean, I, I'm talking like two to three minute max break. Uh, I highly recommend you guys go grab a drink or maybe go use the restroom yourselves. Um, and just know that uh, I will be back in a hot second. I'm going to go ahead and load up back in. And let's see here. Yeah, just barely made it. I had one boost left, so I can actually get a little bit of momentum out of it. You know, even if I'm all the way out of gas. Uh, but uh, yes, it was it was close. Don't like it being that close. If I'm being honest. All right. So let's see here. Paz is responding. Ooh. Yeah, I got to go check in with the wife too. She's gonna make lunch here in a minute, and I definitely don't want to miss out on the turkey bacon avocado sandwich that was just offered to me. That I can now smell the bacon. Oh, smell the bacon! All right, so I'm not gonna launch in. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick break right now. We'll be right back.
all right, all right, all right. We're almost back, guys. Almost back live. Turkey bacon avocado sandwich ordered. Boy, it was like bacon smoke central downstairs. Like, I'm surprised if, if you guys hear a beep, beep, beep. It's not my fault, I promise. <coughs> Yerba went <coughs> down the wrong pipe. All right. We're back at it. 82 of 109. So by my math, what's that? 27 more races? Less than 30 before we get to the platinum. So we got one race we have to do after this as well. Sweet. Sweet. Thank you for that confirmation, Garrett. Gary's putting in some homework hours, finding some, some research that we needed to do. Oh my. Oh, did I just pick up? I did pick up both those. <laughs> Sweet. Three laps, seventh place. I got to have more tokens. Oh, where's some gas, though? Where's some gas, though? We're already half empty. That's definitely a problem. There's got to be some gas. There's one piece. There's got to be more than that. Right? Okay. Whew. Feel a little better now, but still not good. -er -er. I need at least two more tanks. Ooh, there's two more. Oh, I didn't know which way to go. I split them. Uh, okay, I'm sitting prettier than I was on the last lap, so I should be able to. As long as I pick up one or two tanks along the way. I should be able to finish this race without worry. I don't know if that's really a smart move or not to use the nitro out of a crash like that. Because I feel like, I don't know if you're gaining actual traction yet or, if, I mean, if you go any faster than you accelerate normally, you know, because like you go pretty fast already. And it might only come in handy when you're fully maxed out. Like, the boost may really only play a part when you're doing 150, and then you, now you can do 180. Ooh, speaking of which. Ooh, I missed the fuel. Take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm unfamiliar with places of Ireland, Green Hills, and pubs. Yeah, no doubt, huh? Oh, whoops, do I want that? No, we want. We want that body kit. We want that body kit. We want that handling for show. Faux show. All right, the market 83, 26 more, 27 races total if you want to include the platinum race. Yeah, there was a couple of trophies on this that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get, like the uh, finish a race with .01 or closer. I didn't think I was going to get that. I've got it like seven times, though, now. Like, obviously, you only get the trophy once, but the time required, the closeness, I've got it a bunch. So definitely something that can happen pretty easily. You just got to play it a lot. 
from that. I. Hopefully, I got all the left ones. I don't. I know I didn't get all the right ones, but. All right, so I just gotta get and get a bonus boost by getting the right side coming up here. Nice. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible! I probably will not get the bonus boost as I only have one more lap, and those are scattered. It's not looking like I'm gonna need it though, per se. I mean, I'm in second place now. One lap, gaining on first pretty good. I'll try though. I'll try to get it. This is it's gonna be like mad dash from hard from middle left to hard right. Here it comes. Oh! Uh, I don't even think I have an accent. Honestly, when I hear myself speak, I don't sound Irish. It's like me. I don't sound like I'm from the U.S., but then I talk to somebody from, like, Canada or Australia or somewhere, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, we definitely sound different. We definitely sound different. Uh, let's see here. A bit of how long have you subscribed to Patreon? Yeah. Oh, I missed a bunch there. Oh, boy. time with this track. I don't remember this track at all. I'm sure I've raced it a couple of times at least, but I don't remember it. With all like the lanterns hanging over the top and everything. <laughs> wow. Some of these moves I'm trying to do are amazing and then they get followed up by a womp womp. That corner, though. Oh, my gosh, that corner. That could be bad news. That could be real bad news. I got to get ahead of these guys. This is the final lap, and if I come around that corner like that... Oof. I've wrecked more times on this track than I think I have on the last ten tracks. Two of them have been totally my bad, like just hitting left way too hard. I don't know if I'm going to have enough petrol. Take third all day long on that track, you guys. You guys. You guys. Let's see here. Dark side. Can't remember. 2013. That's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, we started in late 2011. And uh, we were covering all sorts of things like, you know, Battlefield and Rayman and Assassin's Creed and pretty much any game we thought was going to have a success at sales and potential, potentially needed you know, some assistance, like players were going to need assistance on to play. Um, you know, we definitely focused on those kind of games. And back then we had no idea, like we, trophy guides and things like that were still new. Like PlayStation trophies wasn't doing their own videos yet. I mean, so many things were different. Like Power Picks was one of like the only good 
producers out there. I mean, there was other guys too, like the Achievement Hunters, and there was there was good content on YouTube, but as far as like real good trophy achievement videos, they were far and few between. You had to search through 15 or 20 videos to find one that was worth it, you know, your time. And, uh, and eventually we uh, hopped in and been doing it for a long time now, we have. Oh my, I was not expecting a boost right there. I need some gas. Got it. Whoa! should have let off. I thought, nope, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I don't got it. Boy, I was off the gas completely there, but that boost was just keeping me in the trenches. Usually letting off the gas is enough to get you out of the corners. I very rarely, I think I've braked in this game probably two dozen times out of all of the games I've played. Like, I don't hit the brake hardly ever. It's just letting off the throttle or boosting. Those are the two things that I really focus on. Um, oh, wow, we're losing some of our viewership. All of a sudden, we just kind of uh, lost a chunk of peeps. wonder where everyone went. Uh, maybe I'm just getting an error, too. Who knows? YouTube's kind of funny like that. All right, we'll do a couple more and then do a save again. I think we saved at 80, 81, and I'm at 86 now, so we've done five. Any Anything after five races is worthy of a save because you definitely don't want to lose progress. Hey. to happen just the way those are split oh my another one too dang I won't lie it'd be nice to get a freebie these guys are always nice ah. yeah some of these tracks these last couple of whoa how did I do that dude I went wait till you see that Gary I went on the outside of a teleport hole I, went, I, I swerved right, and I was off-road, and then I literally saw the obstruction, and instead of going where I should have, I went outside. That was craziness. Super lucky. Super lucky. I'd love to say that was skill, but it was not. It was luck. Everything shows... Oh, it does say stream resumed. The stream is continuing. Interesting. You guys have a little hiccup out there? Some lag points? Are you talking about in the on the stream there? Or are you talking about me, period? <laughs> Lagging. I don't know. Some Lunch was just made downstairs, so it's possible that somebody may have fired up Netflix or something, and there's always that moment or two of uh, you know, conflict. I, I've tried to get them not to do this kind of stuff. However... Uh, you know, I can't tell them not to enjoy their day or whatever. So that if they need to watch Netflix or Hulu or whatever it is, um, they're welcome to. However, today is the last day they will be home for quite a while. So that is kind of a bonus as well. They go both go back to their schools tomorrow. So 
hopefully there will be less of those kind of intermittent jumbles like that. I know that, uh, you know, the internet connection overall has been fairly good to us the last couple of weeks after a few turbulent weeks. So uh, it's always possible that Comcast could be having some hiccups too. But I do apologize and glad that it has rekindled all on its own without having to like start a new stream or do anything. And uh, let's see here. Got some power last week, electricity, power. Power outages can be totally fun as long as they're short and sweet. You know what I mean? Like getting candles and hanging out and like eating in the dark and stuff. That can be totally fun. But if it's like long term, like like a full day or two days, or your fridge doesn't come back on soon, like a waste all that, that's terrible. Twenty two races till we get done with the endurance. Oh, it's the star one. Starlight, star bright. The first star I see tonight. Starlight, star bright. Ooh yeah. You must be my lucky star. <laughs> Boo. Find out me who. Ever you are. It's been a while since I've heard it, and I truly don't know the words to it, so. Dang, I got hosed big time. This is kind of a fun track. Like, it's back and forth and straight, and then back and forth, and straight, and then the other way, back and forth and straight. Should have some tokens coming right... Oh! Whoops. <laughs> Forgot about the back and forth. And then straight. <laughs> oh yeah! That was close. Look at a boost! Sends me into the wall, too! What a joke! What a joke! I got some payback for you, though, bub. Slow! 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 Ah. City grid shut down lighting. So, wow. We had some lightning the other night. It took the power out for about mm, two minutes, 90 seconds, something like that. Nothing too long. I was outside. It was two in the morning when it happened to it. Although it did mess up my computer, if you guys remember. That's sort of been resolved. I kind of did like a temporary fix. I'll worry about it again if it pops up and becomes an issue again. I'm hoping that once the uh, updates happen and uh, hopefully there'll be a BIOS update for my computer itself... And then it will uh, correct its own issue. Assuming it's a BIOS error. Ooh. Error. I don't mind this track, but I'm certainly off to a rough start. This one has the growing rocks, too, or sort of. That grow along the side of the road. Gosh, could you be any more in my way, Dodge? How about you dodge me? There we go. Finally. Ha. Almost got super lucky right there, splitting the defense. Far right side after oh after the drop. Man, get off me. Oh. Was not expecting that. Could you tell? All right, so I haven't finished lower than third, I think, the entire endurance, other than that one race that I failed and had to start over. Um, 
So fourth is not something I'm going to settle on. And I missed the tokens for the freebie, so that's a bummer. There's third. There's second and fullest. Smash him into the wall. Big hard right coming up here at the top of the hill. Yes, and I even got a boost. Hey, hey, Harry, what's up, dude? Thanks for the super chat, my dude. I am doing well today. It is Monday, and I'm going to wrap up a long time playing of this game. Uh, if you don't remember, I played this and got all the way through the World Cup, or the World, is it the World Cup? World Tour. And then I played uh, one of the endurance races and got all the way done. So I did like probably like 100, 100 and something races, 115, 120 races. And my blue, my game totally froze on me, blue screen. And it corrupted my save data. And I lost all of it. I had to start all the way over. I wasn't going to, but then we went on our vacation. And I had some time while everyone was at the pool, which I wasn't partaking in. Uh, I stood back and hung out and played this game. And before I knew it, I was like 10 races in and then 20 races and then 30 races. And then all of a sudden I was done with the world tour and caught up to where I was. So um, we brought it back and now it's been what, four? I think this is the fourth episode since we brought it back. Maybe the third episode. Either way, we've done a lot of racing since then. And uh, yes, I mean, arguably, I think we've done, so there's 100 and then 100. And I think there's a hundred, so I think we've done 300 races, but we also did the first hundred first and had to redo them. So I think we've done 400 races, and then of course I've made a few mistakes and had to go back and do them. So we're probably 450, somewhere in there, guesstimate for races. Ooh, this is not a good one. I like, I hate this one. I despise this track. Too many short, hard 90s. Mm, and this Dodge is like my best friend for some reason all of a sudden. Let me tell you about my best friend. He's a wall. I don't know the real words. That was a theme song to a really good show, which I actually just got my hands on again. Rob and Big. I don't know if you guys ever watched that. Rob Deerdeck, who's a professional skateboarder, had a bodyguard who was huge. He's like a 350, 400 pound, like ex-Marine big dude. And he was his bodyguard that like went around together and they became best friends and they got a TV show out of it. And it's funny, it's just dumb shenanigan stuff. And it's, you know, definitely for an older, well, that 15 to 35 audience, definitely not probably over 40, but I'm kind of one of those exceptions. I really like the show. Uh, I know Rob is also the host of another show called Ridiculousness. So I'm not a fan of that stuff. I don't I don't watch people get hurt and enjoy that. It's just not my thing. I don't watch boxing or any of those really aggressive sort. I don't even watch football. Not that I'm saying football is bad, even though it is. Concussion City. But, uh, you know, I just don't get into that stuff. Not into MMA, boxing, none of that. I've, I've never watched a uh, Ultimate Fighting. Like, I'm just not into that. It's just not me. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, I heard it, Robin Big. You didn't care for it? Oh, my gosh. One of my favorite shows. It's so funny. So funny. The stuff they do, they go around, like, just playing, kind of playing jokes on each other and stuff. Sometimes they, they would, like, go and skate in areas and try to record for their show uh, in areas where they weren't supposed to be, like, maybe private property. And, and Big was this big guy, and he'd kind of, like, he'd never hurt anybody. But he'd always kind of, like, intimidate them with his size. Just kind of like, look, I know we're not supposed to be here, but what are you going to do about it? You know, and then he was like, look, we're going to respect the area. We'll be out of here in ten minutes. Let me get one shot, and we're out of here. You know, and, and, and so there's a lot of stuff like that, too, which, you know. And, you know, if you're not into the skate culture and you don't like funny things, Robin Big might not be a show for you either. I don't really care for reality TV in general. So, you know, that's kind of a, an exception for me. They also had a show called Fantasy Factory, uh, which was pretty good, too. Uh, lots of just creativity and randomness. Some shows were great, and some shows were terrible. Jeez. Um, and same with Robin Big. There was a couple of doozies that weren't that good, but for the most part, I loved it. Like, like when they were going to that skate championship, and they, for some reason, the cop wanted to pull him over, and they were like two blocks away from the skate championship. So instead of pulling over and dealing with the cop, Rob, the skater, goes, hey, go go pull into the event. We're, we're going to pull into the event with the cops 
pulling us over. People are going to freak out, like, what is going on? All the attention is going to be... And they do it. They actually drive. And the cop, when they get there, the cop is, like, agitated and, like, ready to, like, you know, thinking that they were trying to run from him or something, which was... They, they weren't following rules, but, uh, you know, they definitely pushed the boundaries in that show. And I found, like I said, most of them funny. They got a mini horse, and, like, instead of a dog, they get a mini horse. And then they get a dog, too, which is a bulldog. And it's, like, a, one of those skateboarding bulldogs, meaty. And they do play a bunch of, like, gross pranks on each other. And there's definitely some, some man humor, lots of, you know, flatulent jokes and stuff. But I look forward to watching it again. Let me tell you about my best friend. Which is where that all came from. I was singing that song. Dodge is leading, huh? Wow. Wow. Not anymore, he's not. Whoo! Good policies. I, what, what, what did I miss? That's why if I'm playing Storm comes Oh, yeah, absolutely. I usually do, too, but it woke us up at 2.30 in the morning that, that night. And in order for me to turn off my computers and my PlayStations, I would have had to, like, turn all the TVs and the lights on and everything. And, of course, my wife sleeps right there. So, um, you know, didn't really want to do that. I thought, you know, we live in Oregon. There's not going to be any problems, blah, blah, blah. And there was some problems. All right, uh... Let's go ahead and I know it's only been a few minutes since I saved, but let's let's do that again. In fact, I'm gonna switch drives just in case. Every once in a while you never know, an overwrite could corrupt or something could happen, so I'm gonna make sure that I move over to a different drive. So now I'm at least at like uh whatever, seventy nine or eighty, whatever I was when I did the last save on my last drive. We're back at it, going in. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you guys might check your Facebook messages. Let me double check and see if the prize has been claimed for this last giveaway. Um, I'm not seeing anything. All right, there we go. It wasn't loading up for me. Uh, no, doesn't look like it's been claimed yet. So, uh, specifically, if your name starts with a K, you're definitely going to want to check your inbox. There is a uh, an ATDP walker from Star Wars, polybag of Lego version, as well as a couple of stickers. And uh, last thing you want to do is find out that uh, you won and that you missed the 24-hour pickup claim time. You got 24 hours, so basically till 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And let's see here. All right, so three lapper. This one's cool. It looks like a monkey, right? Like the actual design kind of looks like a a monkey. Oh my gosh, I'm not a fan of this one. I forgot. All right, after the crazy turns, I got to stay left to get a boatload of gas. That's likely going to be the only gas because there's so many of them there. I do remember racing on this track, but I don't really remember where everything is. Alright, one down, two to go. Go through a bunch of these crazy turns, and I gotta be on the left. Fill her up. I like that the wood ground doesn't, that, like the sound for that goes away after about halfway through it. Not a big fan of it. Wow. Interesting there. Fireworks. I was like, whoa, what's that? I got a flat tire. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> nope. 
It's actually the fireworks. Alright, gas should not be a factor. Hey, did anybody happen to see if there was any information regarding the actual new Resident Evil game that's coming out? Like, they've got, like, Project... whatever it's called. Uh, but, and I talked about it the other day, but has there been anything else specifically? I'd love to find out more if it's going to be a four-player co-op or what. Another forced! Alright, so back to here. Alright, so what's the matter, Harry Potter? He says he's not doing too bad. That's usually a sign of things being good. Uh, fuel or Excel? I guess let's go gearbox. Little Excel, little Nitro, yo! Let's get a little battle cry going here before we start this next one. You guys hear that double time, don't you? You hear it through my mic, and then you hear it through the game, right? Ooh, another one of those rock-growing levels. Not a fan of these guys. They, like, grow onto the stage as we drive by them. I don't, don't like them. I am definitely playing some of the levels that we haven't played a lot throughout our, ex our journey so far. Because we've, we've definitely played some levels from here, but I don't remember playing this one a bunch. Oh! Oh! The worst. Alright, so so far I've gotten all the ones on the right. Go, go, go. Boy, I'm in. Wow! Okay, like, hit the brakes. Hmm. I hate that, how they pin me over on the side there. This isn't going very good, boys. We got a freebie coming up though in a minute. There is a nitro there too. Try and remember that. Here's the big pack right here. So although I'm not, oof. all right, definitely in a better position now. Def, def, definitely. Still can't see Faust, but it won't be long. There he is. So there is a nitro coming up on the left, but it's still not for a minute. Coming up the next set of gas on the right, it's on the left. Should be like right around this corner. Yeet! Yeet! Uh, let's see here, just getting really hard to get around. My eyesight is getting worse and I really wish my electric wheelchair... Oh. Yeah, that would be nice to get that back to help you get around, huh? played a board game in a while. All right, 93 at 109. Yeah, that is definitely, hopefully, hopefully you'll get that back soon, Harry. Hopefully real soon, huh? Ooh, this one's fun. This one's tough, but fun. Lots of gas right after the finish line. I gotta remember that on the left side. the first one. Whoa, bro!
Oh. Looked up to see how many laps, and bam! Oh. I thought the finish line was coming there. I was looking for the gas. I remember there being a boost in one of these turns here. Come on, get off me, dude. Get off me. What are you trying to do to me? There should be one coming up on the left, right? These guys are cheeky, cheeky drivers. Oof. Last time I got banged up pretty good in that set of turns, so I'm proud of my journey through that time. So I know I got some tokens right over the next hill. Yeah, there's a boost right there. It's on the right. It's on the first turn on the right. Got that Sony itch again, you guys. <laughs> so I'm final lap, third place. And I'm actually quite a ways behind first. I think this is a lapper. Oh no, wow, that was first. I thought for sure that was a lapper. I got a freebie coming up here too on the right after this next stretch. Another one on this corner. Oh, I missed it. That's a tough one to grab. It's on the hard outside edge. We're doing all right, though. Yes. That's what's up. All right. We'll do this race, and then we'll go do another save. Uh, let's see here. Does anybody have a chat? No, 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 no official release date. There is potentially going to be a new trailer released uh, September 12th through 15th during the uh, GamesCon or whatever it is over in Tokyo. Tokyo, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, this one's crazy trippy. I don't know if I like it or not, but I definitely think it's cool looking. It's like all very holiday themey. Relapse. Oh, and I missed the gas. Bad time to look up, Brian. Mm, missed the nitro. And got passed on the corner. What? I definitely need some petrol. I think there's something. Yep. All right. Dang corner there's no way I'm catching that nitro either no way unless I crash into it should be some more gas yep.
Alright. This is where it counts. I powered through that corner. Like, I had no traction. I was just spinning. At least that's what it sounded like. As soon as I see pavement, it's nitro time. One ninety-two Black Widow right here, Gwen and Stacy. I'm sorry to say, probably a cliche about the black cat. Oh, uh, let's see, a bird playing with. It's a bird. It's a play. All right, let's go ahead and do a save. All right. All right, we'll see you in a minute, Cody. All right, I think it's time to actually take a bite out of my voodoo doll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the bottom up. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, one last chance. It's a donut I got from Voodoo Donuts in Portland yesterday while we were up doing family things. It is raspberry jelly. Mmm. That's good. Alright. We are almost in the home stretch of races, guys. 14 more to go. Oh, spiral again. Didn't we already do this one earlier? I swear we played this one earlier. Shift! <laughs> Ooh. Come on, get off me. Get off me, dude. Lapper, final lap, and I'm in seventh place. Are you kidding me right now? All right, I better get it. Better get going here. Get good. Keep missing that petrol. Definitely going to need gas. Hopefully that's enough. I guess it's only one. This is the final lap. I guess I'm not too worried about it. Over. All right. Let's take another bite of our little voodoo doll here. Mm. There's even a pretzel. Like as a pin. You know, poke it. Silly stuff. It's good. Looks like a dinosaur or something. Yeet. Wow. And I'm not talking about World of Warcraft. Try to hit the right side goods. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. All right. Starting to get a little bit turny. Doing a little 
little tail dragon there. Yeet. First place we're coming for you! Oh, look at that. That's cute. That's so cute when he uses his boost. That's so cute! Slip! 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 <sighs> All right. Wow, look at look at that score. We almost have a 200 point lead over the second place on this endurance race. That is shameful. Shameful. Oh man, I'm about raced out though. I tell you what. As soon as you cross the finish line, we got gas on both the right and the left sides. It's good to know. Four lappers, which explains why everyone's so aggressive. Missed a couple on the left there. Ooh, and a full spot on the right. That'll be a good spot for a turbo right there, actually, coming through. Sometimes you almost don't want to get the tokens in the order that they give them to you. Like, you don't want to get the last one that's placed that gives you the boost because it'll put you right into corners, you know, with full speed boost, which is definitely bad news. So sometimes you can actually plan and leave one behind or something like, the. oh, that was not, that was not the plan. It's good to save those boosts too for the later laps, the closer ones to the finish, because of that whole, you know, the the aggression, the way that the game AI plays, it gets easier as you get closer to the finish. A little more, a little more mistakes or less throttle being used. All right, get this last one over here. All right, we'll try to have a super hot, fast lap here. I shouldn't have wasted that there. I should have waited. Oh. I got two more of those. All right, and another one bites the dust. Hey, hey, another one bites the dust. Oh, Coney, welcome yeah. back. Emily, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Uh, Laura Kinney, the old man Logan. What? Laura Kinney. Why do I know that name? But I can't think of what it is. Never should branch off from Spidey the Avengers. The first stuff. Don't turn on my PS3 to play while the TV is available. And what happened? Killed the stream? Three laps. This guy's a short one, too. Got to make quick work of this trek. All right. Got some tokens on the right. I got to get gas. I don't think it's going to be a factor. Such a short track. Whoa. Got a little excited there.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was my impression of Flipper. He's playing fire right there. Ooh, a lapper. Alright. See, I'm surprised they're still doing updates for the PS3. Yeah, yeah. Vita still gets them every once in a while, too. At least it seems like it. I've been playing a little bit of my Vita as of late. Ooh, ten races left! Ten races left! Just think I'd only be like five or four races left if I wouldn't have messed up and ran out of gas. This is one of my least favorite tracks, though, too, you guys. This, this little turns. It's like a weeble wobble right through this. Uh, this section right here, though, is pretty fun to go boosting through when no one's here. But, man, as you can tell, it's a little bit of a cluster right now at the beginning. These guys need to start thinning out a little bit. I don't believe there's... Oh, no, there is tokens. That's right. I do remember. That's that weird bridge that makes that noise. But I think I'm the only one that can hear it. Come on. So there's like a crazy weeble wobble turn at the end here. a good place to go boosting through because you can usually go faster than the, your opponents on corners well if you got a good handling car like I do anyways In a decent spot. Hard left, down the straight stretch, get the gas. Right and... Whoa! That's that one of those growing rocks. I hate that. This is a crazy turn right here. Yep. Yep. He like went into a wheelie, I hit him so hard. I hit him wheelie hard. <laughs> oh, I forgot my free boost. There's first, whoa, is he ripping through these corners. Ooh, I'm gonna get him on the finish, I'm gonna get him on the finish. We go left, and then back right, and then hard left. No, he's got a boost. I don't, though. Ooh, that's so close. Oh, man, my hand is getting worn out, dudes. Both of these, look at my fingers. They're just, like, indented from holding down the gas. Mm. We can do this, though. I'm not going to let you down. I don't know that I remember this track at all. Hey. Oh. Oh, man, this is really hard to see, you guys. Like, the way the shadowing is and the way the uh, my lights are in here. It's crazy. Four laps, so that's good. That means they're bound to be a little more aggressive in the first couple.
Uh, not necessarily a great spot to boost, as you can see. That's what I was talking about earlier, about sometimes you got to plan your tokens, and when you grab the final one, that was not a good spot. The good news is, though, is I still have two more laps, and I'm making some good ground without using any of my six boosts. Now I just got to remember to keep getting gas. I can keep getting gas. Should be all right. And you guys know how this will be. The pack will be all together up here. There's five. Four and three. Let's see. There's four. Yep. Three. Three. That was a bad time to boost. It was right where I boosted last time. Second and first, right there. That's a tough spot right there. All right, here we go. Woo! To the hoo! I'll take first. Let's do it. Hey, Alfie, what's up? Your guys helped me get the platinum for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, which I unlocked on my 16th birthday. Nice! That was awesome. That's a fun one. Glad we could help out. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Let's go quicker acceleration. Yeah, my fingers are just d -d 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 dead. All right, I'll do this one, and then I'll go do a save. And then, uh... You... Yep, yep. I did not mean to do that. Oh, this one's a tough one, too. I should have done the save before this one. Dang it. This one is tougher, Steen. I need some fuel. Give me them tanks. I remember this being a longer track. Okay, take that. Alright, one lap down. That means there's no tokens. Oh, I missed the gas. Dang it. Some gas up here. Coming up in the left, right? Yep, right here. Zorat! Whoa! It's a rainbow! Was it a double rainbow? Oh my, I didn't even see that. It is a double rainbow. You see the other one? Uh, so there might be Minecraft story mode. The uh, the world that Reese was building, something happened to it. Um, oh, I was supposed to... I was trying to advance through. I launched into the next race. I was supposed to do a save. Um, so I don't know if that's still happening or not. Uh, I feel like something happened, like he messed up or, or like saved over it. or I, I don't remember what. He was like super disappointed because he put a bunch of time into creating this whole world with all these assets and everything. And it wasn't complete. But it was getting close, and uh, and then you know we were hoping that it was going to be like an hour, hour and a half long stream of me going through and doing everything, 
and getting everything, bang, 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 and getting the platinum on Minecraft. Because I know a lot of you guys would love to see me play Minecraft, and I'm just not really that interested in the overall game. However, getting those trophies would be fun and, and productive, as we're trying to get to 100 platinums for me, which I'm at 89 or something like that, I think, right now. Shoot. Four laps. All right. I need to get some gas. I have yet to get any gas. This track is crazy. Yes. All right, I got one. Two laps left, and I'm in fifth. That's terrible. Oh, there's the last token right there at the... Right across the finish line. Whoa, I made it through there this time without crashing. The corner gets me, too. Every time I try to go right, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Should be some gas. Oh, I got a boost instead of a gas. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hit that Lambo three times in a row now. Get out of my way, dude. Man. Alright, 93 of 109, something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many races do you got left to do? We'll find out in just a second. I'll try not to spam the button here. And we're going to pull out and do a quick save just to make sure. So I'm on 103 and we need 109, so six races to complete the endurance. And then we have one more race that we have to do in order to get the Platinum Trophy. So we are 10 to 20 minutes away, just depending on how long it's going to take me to save this and then beat those last six races. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I hope I do it soon, too. I'm ready to be done. It's 2 o'clock. That's basically the estimate I gave my wife that I would be done today, so I'm a little behind, but not by much. Only by about 15 minutes. Don't forget to stay hydrated, people. Jump right in. Durant. Look at that. We're barely going anyway. That looks like a lot more than six races. It is more than six races. It's. Wait, what? My math was off. My math was way off. We have 14 races left to do. <laughs> wait a minute. Didn't I already do this one? Did I overwrite my data the wrong way? I did. I overwrote my data. I saved. Did I really just do that? I think I went the wrong way, you guys. I'm looking to see. I swear I was at 103 or something. I totally screwed up, you guys. Man. I'm not happy right now, you guys. I feel like a complete moron. Not to me, Gary. Not to me. Seriously, my thumbs and fingers. Man, I can't believe... How hey, how about you get off me? I <laughs> God. Um... Yeah. Get good. Good timing, Tyler. So how did I... Hmm. Somehow I managed to save it backwards? I don't understand that. How did I do that? It's good timing, though, Tyler, for sure. <laughs> I still wonder if you just hang out and wait to blast me. Wait for the just the roast, most roast-worthy moment. Man, my fail safe is. I've done this twice now today, haven't I? Or is it the first time? Alright. Alright. I don't know if it's just me being embarrassed, <laughs> but it's got a lot hotter in here all of a sudden. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my goodness. I swear I had six races left. 
Yeah, I almost did it earlier, too. I, I thought I did do it earlier. Yeah, I did. So what I did was, instead of loading my save to the drive, I loaded the drive to my save. So I did it backwards. Um, so luckily, I only went back, what, like six races? Seven or eight, six races, something like that. But I made a mistake earlier, and I actually uh, ran out of gas on a track. So I... So I've actually had to play about seven or ten races more today than I was anticipating, which is going to put me probably close to the hundred races all over today. Man, that's crazy. I'm sorry, you guys. <sighs> and at least Tyler was here to see the moment. <laughs> and the award for best get good goes to nice guy Tyler. Good news is, is I'm good at this game. G-U-D good, that is, as I ram into that Lambo. Rambo the Lambo. So it won't be long. And my AC is kicking up. The temperature's starting to swell, swell a little bit lower. Oh! Tumbleya! The tumbler. Oh my, that's twice now. <laughs> oh, he's on my tail! He's on me, guys. He's on me. Oh, no. He might get first place. Not on my watch. All right. Brian messes up a lot, making timing easy. Somebody mute him for me. <laughs> uh. Oh man, this one. This one was fun. Man, I still can't believe I did that. I was six races away. I added seven more races. What a maroon. An extra 15 minutes at least. What a maroon! Really, I just wanted to hang with you guys longer. That's really all it was. I mean, it's not like I got food waiting downstairs for me. All right, another one down, you guys. All right. Uh... Let's see here. What is Gary too good to chat in live chat today? Ooh, being called out. It's a Monday. We're all a little on the extra sleepy side. Unless today's your Friday. 
All right, so. This is race number, so I'm down to, I got 11 races left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well done. Oh, come on. I don't think I've passed one car without hitting it at least three times. Oh, my gosh. I definitely need to get some gas. I feel like there's some coming up. See him fake me out? He's like, I'm gonna get you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm, that's not good. F -f -f Final lap. What's up there, Ciseo? Ciseo? Am I saying how am I? How am I? Oh, come on, Ryan. Uh, for some reason, my I'm driving too far ahead right now. I'm not sure why that is. I keep making like adjustments when I'm not supposed to be. Keep it together. 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 Aye. There we go, finish. Oh, All right. Yeah. Hey, what's up there, SB Nation? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Swipe hello to Brazil. Nice. All right. Another Brazilian in the chat. That is awesome. Yeah, I've never watched any of the Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, I, I'm not, I just can't connect with that anime stuff for some reason. Like, uh-oh, this guy. Oof. I feel like I need to do another save after this race, but I gotta be very careful on how I do it. I just can't believe I did that. You guys gotta remember, I do this all the time. Like every time I beat a Lego level, like when I'm doing free play or even story, I always make saves. And I've only historically done that a couple of times, and I feel like I did it twice today, but Gary assures me I only did it once, which is good. Uh, but, like, that's just one of those really rare things that I don't ever do. I think Tyler came and used his Jedi mind tricks on me. Just so he could set himself up for that home run hit out the park. It's just an underhand, slow pitch lob to him. Bam! It's going way back. It's out of here. Ah, come on. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, I missed a couple there, dang it. Remember, I have to finish fifth or higher to even move on. And if I lost this, I'd end up having to go back and play all these races again! Oh, I knew that was coming. Why didn't I wait for it? Final lap. Not doing good. Fourth place. Fourth place. Come on, where's third? There he is. Oh, I had him, and then I messed it up. My freebie was there too. I forgot about that, man. Okay, I gotta remember this final corner. This final corner is a pain in the took us. Oh, come on. All right, over the hill and 
through the woods. We got a hard left into a hard right into a hard left. I'll take a second. Uh, when does that drop? Is that tomorrow? Borderlands 3? It's coming out soon. I know that. Um, I, you know, I, probably, probably. Gary says he's got it. Ooh, this was that tough one. This was that tough one that was at night. Hard for me to see with my bright lights here, the key lights and the reflection. Mm. Copy that. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, I missed almost all of those. This is a terrible track, you guys. Yeah, it makes sense that that game would come out on a Friday versus a a regular Tuesday because they break the rules for games like that. Whoa, I'm not sure what just happened there. Like, I got a boost from those tokens, but they weren't all my tokens. These are, though. Ninth place... My, oh, it's a four-lapper. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling better now, you guys. I was thinking, man, final lap, and I'm in seventh, but plenty of time. Got lucky there. I have five boosts, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's a nice guy Tyler in that Camaro again. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go save and then I'm, I'm gonna do it right this time I promise oops okay here we go bust the now to save all right let's see if I can do this the right way this time Application. Save data in system storage. Copy to USB. Horizon. Overwriting. 220 from 142. It's the new stuff. This is the good way. Uh, what Austin he says, you didn't answer my question about play Cars 3 game next Monday since Horizon Chase Turbo is over. Uh, no, I've already mentioned a bunch of times that Minecraft Story Mode is likely going to be the replacement for that unless we find another game that you guys really want. It probably won't be Cars 3. I'm not sure that'll make a return. It might, if that's something you guys want to see. Um, I'm definitely down to play it. Mondays could be race days. I'm not against that either, but as it sits right now, we've kind of been leaning towards finishing up the Minecraft Story Mode. All right, I feel much better now. I feel much better. That's loaded in, and I got it good. Eight races. Nine, if you include the platinum one.
feel like I just raced this race, you guys. This was one of the last ones I did, though, before I made that mistake. This is three lapper. Whoa! That's what I call turbo. Yo. Sorry, I'm all quiet. I'm just focusing. Trying not to lose the get goodery. Alright, I say finish Minecraft, then move on to cars. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, let's see here. Home stretch, Timothy says. That is correct. Gears 5. Uh, oh, I don't know that I will yeah. check out. I, I've never been a fan of the Gears of War series, uh, mainly because when the games first came out, I was uh, playing the game that won't be mentioned. And uh, there was, you know, jump and, and like that, just the motion and controls I was so used to. And when I tried to play Gears, like you couldn't jump. There was a few few games like that, like uh, with Planet Side was another one uh, that I struggled with because there wasn't any jump. I, I think it was Planet Side. There was another one right around that same time. And um, yeah, oh, so this is this is the one that I finished on right before I did the save because I remember doing this one too. This one is pretty intense. Four lapper as well. Man, so after coming through the finish line on the right. Oh! Ouch! I need some gas, man. Ah, oh, I missed the tokens and the gas! Alright, coming through. We got tokens on the right. Some tokens in the middle. Coming up right about here. Oh, they're on the inside. All right, left side. Final lap, I'll get the free boost. Back to the right, then it opens up. Right in here. Yeek. All right, all right, all right. Doodle, little, little, little. I say finish my cap. Okay. Totally read that. Just speaking out loud now. All right. So, Aloha. Back to all right. One hundred three. This is where I was because we had six races left. Yes. Oh, it feels good. I can't believe I've messed up. I've given myself an extra, like, 12 races today. I just love it so much, I want to keep playing. That is not the case. Not right now, it's not. I have enjoyed this game, no doubt about it. It's a fun, like, it reminds me of my rad racer in uh, OutRun days. I played a lot of rad racer in 3D as well. That's a bad corner to come through. Super hot. Oh, no. Another four-lapper. It's weird that they're finishing strong with a bunch of four-lap races.
Oh! That's two laps, and I got two rows of coins both times. That's pretty awesome. Although it didn't do me a whole lot of good as I rammed right into the guy in front of me. He's returning the favor. And if this game's physics has taught us anything, if they run into us, that means they go faster. That was some dodging right there. Alright, third. About ready to come through on lap three. I still got three boosts left. Alright, we got this. We got this. There's one lapper. Wolfenstein, we call them nachos, so the stream doesn't get trouble. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> that's very true. This is a, an idea that Nick had that was actually hysterically funny to me, and I went with it. We ran with it. Another four lapper. I forgot how to drive. Hmm. <laughs> was a nice little run there. Tried to avoid that lapper. I knew I shouldn't have done that, dang it. It's alright, second will work. Second will work. This game definitely seems like a modern day outrun. I, I would agree with that, yes. Uh, with the same, you know, the, uh, definitely homage given here. Definitely uh, little references and. Uh, yeah, a little more into it, right? Because um, that run was literally like, I mean, if you guys remember, you could have you had choices. You would drive across the country basically, but you could choose which way you went. At least uh, you know on the home version. Oh no, oh no, you guys. Oh no, super dark and hard. Oh my gosh, I should have saved again. key is just paying attention to the yellow warning signs those usually tell you when the super hard corners or the chicanes or any of those things are happening and now keep in mind you definitely got to get gas well this one's actually pretty short now that i'm seeing the finish line one of these ones is actually really long and you need gas and lots of it to finish this doesn't seem to be that one this is only a three-lapper instead of four. They've thrown a bunch of fours at me. Yep, see, I hit the brakes a little. Got rear-ended, but made it through the corners. Final lap. I'm in decent shape, you guys. Comes the big yellow turn. Whew. 
so blind. Speaking of Wolfstein, are there any plans to platinum that game as well? That's kind of the hope and dream. You know, a lot of it depends on the, the viewership, too, because we've, we've been gaining subs and people have been following, and they certainly watch on Apex Days, but we've been noticing that, like, lots of less people when we play Wolfenstein. So we're going to give it a shot tomorrow. We're going to market it a little bit harder and advertise, you know, like let everybody Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, you know, Instagram. We're going to try to get the word out there, and, and we'll see um, if, if it continues to go well. Then we'll continue to play it. Um, if it's going to be, you know, where we don't really see a lot of people, like, you know, five or ten people, we definitely can move on and play some other games. Uh, there's plenty of mature rated stuff out there that we'd like to play. Uh, that's just simply one of them. So it's fun playing the co-op, though. I won't, won't even try. Oh, crud. I thought there was a strip of five. There was a strip of ten. So I messed that one up. gnarly so I might be able to hit that on the next lap on the far right So I got one last little set on the right coming up. So we get a freebie in the final lap. That'll certainly help. Getting smashed into the right wall, throwing our momentum off doesn't help, though. All right, fourth place, three quarters of a lap to get there. We got this. We got this. <laughs> Here we go, freebie. Oh, and I ran into the stupid pole. Way to go, Brian. Way to go, Brian. <laughs> uh, Zozo, settle down for sure, or you're going to find yourself at a timeout. We never like doing that, but we don't really like spamming the chat either. Especially when there's plenty of Star Wars up and available for you. And we've already discussed there would be another video today. But that's not what this live stream is. This live stream is for Horizon Chase Turbo. No Star Wars. We do have plans to get to the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga once that drops too. So uh, definitely lots of Star Wars in our future. But... Uh, not a whole lot today, and definitely not on this stream. Definitely not on this stream. Not the happening. No matter how many times you type in the chat. The only thing it'll do is get you banned. Nobody wants that. Ugh. This is greasy through here. Tell you what. Get off me! Relapse. Relapse. up some juice. Ah. Oh. I guess I didn't really want it on the first lap anyways, though, right? This is so hard to see what's going on, you guys. Oh my gosh. This one's highly dependent on gas, too. This is that long one I was talking about earlier that I was saying needed gas. All right, two laps left. Depleted two, so I got to keep on getting gas.
Good momentum coming through here. Ah, oh, they both boosted. I think there's another nitro coming up on the right. Some gas. We got some freebies coming up, some tokens. I believe it's middle. Oh, it's right then middle. So we just got them on the right. Oh, get off me, bub. I missed both of those. I should be doing okay for gas, though, because we're about ready to cross the finish line. And I got over a half tank. I will likely get a couple of jugs right up here. Again, I just have to finish the race fifth or higher in order to move on. Like, I have got so many points, there's no way anybody can beat me unless I beat myself by getting disqualified by running out of gas or uh, something else. Boom! Freebie! He wants that pole position. Doesn't realize I got more juice. I got the juice to get loose. Should have saved that one in case I wreck, but. Dunzo! Brian, what's up? Since you're doing a race today, yesterday I saw any car race from Portland. I don't know how far you are. But... Oh, I actually was really close to it yesterday. We were up in Portland at the Portland Saturday Market, which is only about 15 minutes away from PIR, which is where all that stuff happens. Uh, I'm about an hour and 20 minutes from PIR directly from my house. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another save. I'm going to go slow about this and pay very good attention. Not account management. Application. Save data in system. Copy to USB. Horizon Chase. Back it up. Overwriting from a few minutes ago. Yes, please. I did have some tough turns. Watch bumping other cars makes you lose gas. What? I've never heard that. It's an interesting piece of information. I've never heard that at all. And the good news is... Um, let's see here. Good news is I got, what, two races left? And then a real we'll do a real easy one for the final race. For the final platinum... Da -da -da -da. Look at that. Barely goes anywhere. Love it. All right. There was a few doubters out there that thought I wasn't going to be able to get all the way through here or was worried that the grind was going to be too real for one stream. Even with a couple of mistakes, two, in fact. We still made it. We're about an hour longer than I anticipated. But that's all right. We got her done. That's how the Platinum... The finishing games are always that way. Remember Kingdom Hearts 3? That was crazy. Eight-hour stream. This is maybe the worst track in the game right here. Three lapper. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. We got a new sub. I don't know who it is, but welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. I can't look. All right. One little middle section there I missed. <laughs> Arms are getting worn out. They're getting numb. I'm sitting here for so long. Oh my gosh. This track is the worst. Here comes my freebies. Coming up in the middle. Maybe? There they are. Yay! It's a 
tough corner, but I got it figured. Oh, that one not so much, though. There's a lot of sharks out in that shallow water right there. I do need human fuel. You're right. My my even even though I've been eating donuts, that's not necessarily healthy food, and my body can tell that all I've that's basically what we had. We had donuts after we had lunch yesterday. We had late lunch, like about two two thirty, and then we had a couple of donuts around four four thirty five, um, and then last night for dessert, I tried to eat one too. So I didn't even have dinner last night, unless you count donuts for dinner. This is the worst one. I hate this one. It's a three lapper. All right, guys, fingers crossed. Come on. Every other track, I'm able to split split the difference there. Must have been a slight turn going. All right. Lots of gas. This, this is a fairly long track, too. Come on, man. I don't think this one has tokens. Oh, psych. I was wrong. Big hard right turn. Dying. Big left. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Alright, gas shouldn't be too big of a factor, but I need to get a little bit. This level kind of reminds me of the Monsters, Pixel Junk Monsters game. When some of the levels, like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it totally reminds me of that. Wow. Whoops. So fifth or above is all I need to do to get this done did. the caution corners. Crap. I didn't mean to do that. That was the wrong time to do both of those. Yeet! Got none of those left. That's alright though. Oh! Oh! For the win. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's ring it off. Can I get a bling, please? Can I get a bling? Can I get a bling? Look, Mom. Worn out fingers. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely a grind. Holy cow. Crunchy yet satisfying. What are we talking about? Uh, you no, know you're going to add Horizon Taste Turbo to the list of games as well. Let's see here. What is it? Protein food. Yes, it is. Crunchy yet satisfying. GG is correct. All right. So now let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Francois, it's a double bike. All right. So we got all those done did. Let's go back to uh, campaign. Let's go to world tour. Let's go to Cali. Let's go to Frisco. Uh, grassy, grassy hills. And then let's go all the way... Uh, is this John Claude Van Damme? Is that what's going on here? This thing is wow. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. So in theory, all I should have to do is finish the race. I shouldn't even have to win, but why not try? I don't know, dude. I'm collecting them, that's for sure. 
This is definitely an OP car. Like, it's very overpowered. Oh, I didn't get all the togas. I thought I got them all. I guess, no, that's never mind. It's a different mode. I don't get turbos for this one. I get bonus points. <laughs> Woo to the hoo! Oh my goodness! There's two lappers. Here comes three. And that's all she wrote. Up over the hill, through the woods. To grandmother's house we go. Well, there was four, five, and six right there. Alright, can I get a bling? Can I get a double bling, please? Woot, woot! Woot, woot! Woot, woot! Alright, so woo to the who. And Dark Sky still had faster times than me. <laughs> that's funny. Alright, so that's it, peeps. Horizon Chase Turbo is officially beat, though. Uh, I know I have some DLC stuff that I could play, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and sink my trophies. i see this at the very top here. Wow! Woo! To the who! All right. And as per usual, let's go ahead and clear off some space. All right. Well, hey, I want to give a shout out to Gary for being in my ear. Even though today was kind of a slow day, it's always nice to have somebody helping me keep track of the chat as well as, you know, being able to post links and provide information and answer questions and yada yada. So thanks to Gary for that. Thanks to Nick, uh, Cross, and also Mike, if you're still out there, who are all helping with the moderation in the chat. And of course, all you people who've been out there chilling the whole time. Dark Side, Timothy, Coney, Demon, uh, Austin. Uh, who else has been out there? Uh, Brian, Zozo. There's a bunch of you still out there hanging out. We've been over almost five hours almost five stinking hours you guys that's crazy uh let's see here i'm sure i forgot some of you and i apologize tyler's probably still out there too uh he doesn't do any moderating in the chat these days he makes fun of <laughs> the streamers which is totally acceptable so shout out to him too jazzy that's right you were here as well uh saw a whole bunch of new faces today always a pleasure meeting new people uh we'd love to see you we still haven't broke our record of over 50 people at once in the stream uh, I know that we're not playing super popular games, but I bet you on Wednesday when we play Toy Story 3, we're going to have our best chance. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. We will have an HTG TV stream where we'll be playing some of this Wolfenstein Youngblood. It might be the last stream of that, too, so you might want to tune in. And please give us the feedback. If you're not interested in Wolfenstein, you want to see something else, let us know what game you would like to see in its place. Uh, you know, maybe Wednesday... We'll be back with some Toy Story 3. I was going to say maybe some Ultimate Chicken Horse, but you guys don't want to see that. You want to see Toy Story 3. And then Friday, we'll be back with another Easy Platinum, which I'm not going to release what the name of the game is yet, but we'll let you know probably Thursday. So uh, anyways, want to go ahead and say that is it, my peoples. Uh, you guys know the drill. You know how this works. Uh, why don't you go ahead and look down below in the video description and check out all of the links to our social media pages, including happyfilmsgaming.com. Please check them out. Don't forget to hit that sub button as well as that notification bell. And as for me, you guys know the drill. I'll be back sooner than later. As always, until next time.